Good evening and welcome back to another Death in the Wild. Hopefully this time, maybe with a little death in it. As always, I am Maniacal Engineer, and this is, of course, the series where I stream through Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Good evening, Dien. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Fine. Kevin, good to see you. Bet you you never expected to see this happen. Hey, Kevin. Yeah, no, this is, this, this is a thing. I think you know how this came to be, but just in case you don't, this is a result of me firing my mouth off right before the Trainers Unite event um, back in, in September. I said that if we raised $1,001 during the Trainers Unite event, I would play this game, and, well, we did it. So, now I'm doing this. Also, I have been here for about a week in this red-headed paradise, and I have been conducting very thorough research while I am here. Research. And yes, oh, it's, it's you. Me. Yes, research. I asked him where his lab notebook was and what his... My Sheikah were. Slate is my lab notebook. You can't write in it. I wish you could. That would actually make things a little bit more interesting. Anyway, I have come to the conclusion that while I do enjoy living in this paradise, uh, there is one fundamental problem with living Constant here. Constantly wearing a bra? Uh, no. Well, maybe. <laughs> but the bigger problem is they actually have children here. Right? Like like little kids. Like yes. like like this one. Right? And my question is, right, this is a town of only women. Alright? They yes. they literally have a law prohibiting men from being in here to the point where if I took off any part of this ridiculous outfit, they'd kick me out immediately. Yes. So, but, but but at the same token, right, there's also a class that they teach on, like, Vos and You, which Vo apparently is their name for, for male, right? And and a lot of the, the Gerudo that we've seen hanging around are, are all kind of obsessed with finding a Vo. So, like, do they find a guy, have kids, and then they, they basically, like, kick the guy out of this, like, they, they, they come here and they, they separate the kids from their, their fathers. Like, they separate the, the daughters from their fathers. Maybe they go and visit sometimes? I mean, maybe, but it's not like this place is, like, right around the corner. I mean, you look at the map, and it's, you know, it's all the way in the middle of nowhere down here. And... Like, to, to get here, you kind of have to go through the, 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 the Great Plateau, which is, you know, it's, it's this giant island in the middle, or, you know, any of these surrounding areas. But, like, it's, it's not like it's right across the street. The closest thing to civilization that you have is the Karakara Bazaar, and it's not like there's a ton... Like, it's not like that's a bustling metropolis. It's got one inn that's run by the Gerudo. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, like, it, it, it's just, it, it strikes me as odd that, that they would live in this type of society where they, they, they literally separate kids from their fathers, specifically because of some weird rule. And I don't even know why they have the rule that they don't let men in this city. I'm sure there is a history. Could be. Also, one other thing that I want to point out, this girl, this, this, this bird lady. She is not a redhead. She's not a redhead, but... Thank you. Don't overthink it. Yes. Right, wants to try some of the meat here, but... Well, they don't seem to have poultry. This bird lady wants to eat poultry. There are lots of birds that eat other birds. I don't see how that's surprising at all. Yes, I did stare at all night. I mean, that's fair, but, like, it's still funny. 
Anyway, this is what my research has conducted for the past week. And yes, I have been doing research. Very mm -hmm. thorough research. Mm -hmm. Right, have you been researching how Bob got the Master Sword at all? I or have not, but Bob apparently does have the Master Sword. At least according to Dawning Winds. Which I have sense. photographic evidence. <laughs> DN is not... So, since this is on my channel, D uh, Kevin, DN is, is in the War Room server, and that's where I'm hosting the voice chat for this from, not, not the Bulba Garden staff server. Yes, I'm being held hostage. Please help. I don't know anything about Mafia. Also, this also, person here uh, is the sitting. one person that I haven't fooled with my outfit. <laughs> but she, she actually doesn't care. Kevin, you only miss sending me weird memes. But yeah, so Kevin that's... Guy? Hmm? Who's this Kevin guy? Kevin is one of my multimedia editors. Kevin is also an, a, a renowned voice actor who has been in one of the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. He has? Yes. Which Yu-Gi-Oh? Who'd you play? <laughs> yeah, uh, Kevin, tell, tell Dawning Winds about your recent role in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because Dawning Winds actually knows a little bit about Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm very proud of you, by the way, Kevin. Very proud. Are you really not gonna tell me the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff? You can't bring that stuff up around me and then not tell me. You know, it almost feels like payback for all the torture that you've uh, made me undergo <laughs> while I'm here. Anyway. Don't forget how much more torture she's gonna inflict upon you. Riku and No. I have watched Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s and I do not remember that character. So I have three shrines. Must have been a minor character. One. Two. Quagsire Joe, hello. Where's the third shrine? Oh yeah, the third shrine oh, is here. Oh, it's that kid! Here. So... It's that kid! I've got three shrines... Uh, to, to to unlock, and the one over here is actually oh, wait, very no, interesting. Not that kid. He's a pretty minor character. Yeah, he did. He doesn't do very much, but yeah, I remember him now. I see, I remember seeing him around the school a couple times. Joe, uh, the 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 individual with the Korean characters is Dragon Nataku. Uh, hi, Joe. Anyway, I did. I, I was wandering around the desert, and I bumped into this funny-looking plant. And I remember that I'd seen a funny-looking plant like this before, somewhere near Kakariku Village. So let me see what this plant wants. Uh oh. No way. The plant wants to tell me its story. Oh, no. Okay. Should it, again, a giant feminine hand from a plant. A cactus. Yeah, cactus is, whoa! And she just grabbed those rupees. Oh, it's not the 10k one. My bad. So, it, it actually is in order. Uh, well, it's it, it's in it, like it's one hundred, five hundred, one thousand, ten thousand, in that order. But Doesn't matter which one you find. Oh, good, another I one. The, I did the ten k one before I did the one point five k one. There is no one point five k. Maybe I'm. The the horse fountain doesn't count. Oh okay, but but I thought I got a different one after this one. Oh well, whatever. The Great Earth Fairy, eh? Watching your activities from inside my bud all this time. Are you sure? That's kind of creepy. Now, haven't you been busy swinging that sword around, adventure? 
Uh, what about my bomb arrows? Predict what you're thinking right now at this moment. Okay. What am I thinking? Huh? Can't we just skip to the part where she enhances? No, I was thinking it's a shame you're not a redhead. Uh, can I have you enhance my clothing? Let's see. Uh, oh, you can enhance this. And that's useful. I did not actually know she could do this, but that climber's bandana of mine is very helpful. <laughs> you didn't know she could enhance your clothing? Well, I knew she could enhance, but not, like, specifically the climber's bandana. That climber's bandana is, like, my most useful item. Mm -hmm. What do you have? You can enhance my champion's tunic. But you don't use it. <laughs> Technically, I don't wear shirts unless I'm wearing this particular outfit. But what the hell? Uh. Apparently this was a gift from some princess, so I might as well at least treat it decently. <sighs> Maybe. Technically, Impa gave it to you. Yeah, but she said it was something that the princess left for me a hundred years ago. <laughs> or something. Some sets, if you enhance each part of the set twice, will give you a special set bonus. Uh-huh. I'm lacking the clothes, yes. And she will also flush herself down the giant fairy toilet. Hooray! Hi, Perry. Yes. See you potentially sometime. Yep. Alright, let's see. You can also apparently find Endura carrots around this fountain, too, though I haven't yet. They're right there in front of you, by the ribs. By the ribs? The ribs of the giant monstrosity housing this thing. Mmm, delicious ribs. They're... I'm afraid those ribs are me. Oh! Yes, of course. That makes and... perfect sense. I never actually like... ventured outside the skeleton for that. But yeah, no, okay. Alright, since I am here... Might as well go to this shrine and see what kind of death lurks within. The deadly kind. We say this every time and it never gets old. Probably. I don't even remember what this shrine is. Well, neither do I, but that's just because I've never actually went here before. There's gonna be a guardian in there to kill you. If it's a test of combat, it there might be. It does not look like it. Okay. It's another magnetism and electrical... Uh, an electrical thingamajigger. The magical, current solution... Yeah. Oh, I like this! This is punny! The current I suppose solution... You have, I suppose you have not become an electrical engineer in the past week. No, I'm sticking with mechanical engineering. That's always going to be my true passion. Why not do both? <laughs> because I'm not smart enough. This first puzzle was pretty straightforward, I think. Hey, was uh, that a noise of someone else joining the call? Is someone else here now? No. Uh, I no. Myself. no. Okay. Uh, huh. Scooch this out a wee bit. That's not gonna work, is it? Mm. No. No, it's not. That's pretty much what I did. But I think I went, like, around the blocks, the pillars there. How did you go around the pillars? I lift um, the box over and, like, put it in that corner that the pillars make. Oh, yes, yeah. that actually makes a lot of sense. 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But I figured it was simple enough that you'd be able to figure it out on your own. No. Well, maybe. <laughs> and move you forward just a smidge. Oh, wait a minute. No, I can actually do this. Uh, excuse you. There we go. Don't zap myself. I do have fairies, but, like, I don't want to waste them here. Fine, you can always just, just go kidnap more from the fountains. The, but, like, that requires you, effort. Yeah, I spent, like, a week trying to find a new one. I did. Oh, you were actually correct. There is, in fact, a guardian here. I think there's two. Yeah, there is. Just shoot them with arrows. Yeah, there's also a treasure chest here. I assume you have to do something to drop that water. Or it's metal. It's metal. Yeah. What do we got? An ain't- Hey! I needed a third one of those! And I didn't even have to battle a guardian for it. Fantastic. Now, let's see. Can I hit you from here? I'm afraid not. No, you can. I actually think I can. I think that was just too high, though. Yeah, I think you put the arrow on the ledge behind it. Oh, wow, your bows are really weak. <laughs> uh, so here's the thing about my bows. It's a bow bow. It Why? actually is a literal Baco bow. <laughs> See, now you're just wasting arrows. Uh, fair enough. You could probably one-shot them with the Lionel bow. It's I probably country. could. Might as well break the Boko bow, bow, though. Yeah. You really might as well. I don't remember why I got the Baco bow, but I got the Baco bow. Anyway, uh, I'll just You got the Baco bow because I told you you were fighting the Guardian with a Baco club. There we go. That's one down. But I actually have to figure out how to get there before I can take the parts. So let's see. Shoot the second one first. I can. It's probably on this side, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I think that platform goes up, the one you were just standing on. There you go, one shot. As it should be. Anyway, the platform down. goes up. But that assumes that I can provide power to it. Mm hmm which I assume comes from this that I've got to drag over. Okay. I cannot drag that over there. Yeah, you can. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can, but like the chain is wrapped. Oh God, this is going to be fun. Okay, why is that not providing power? Do I gotta move it just a tiny bit further? There we go. Oh, it didn't even let me, uh... Okay. Up. And forward. And now this thing... Oh god, what the hell? Why? Oh, there's a third guardian. 
Oh, there is, huh? Weird. I thought there were only two. Well, kill it like the rest. Yep. What? Why? I don't understand this. Did you find another one? No. <laughs> I just I don't understand what the purpose of that is supposed to do. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, uh, okay, there's a screw in the window. water, by the way. There's a what? Ancient screw in the water. Right where? by the beginning. By the beginning. Oh. From where you shot the guardians, there's a screw in the water. Yes, yes. Well, a spring. Oh, Whatever. and a screw. Yes. <laughs> Man, the debris got all the way over here? Good thing that grate is there, or else it would be gone forever. Yes. But okay, I don't understand the purpose of this. Do you want me to tell you, or do you want to figure it out? Let me try to figure it out. Okay. But let me get all of the delicious guardian parts beforehand. Don't Although there's not those. a ton of them. Hmm? Don't eat those. Well, no, Maybe. I'm not a big fan of the rock-hard food. That would be dawning winds. I only Maybe. made it once and just because I was curious. <laughs> that's, that's what they what all they... say. That's not what they mean by getting more iron in your diet. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So there's another puzzle here. How many frickin' puzzles are there in this frickin' shrine? Enough t of to kill you. I mean, look, the fact that there's a lot of electric uh, electricity going around, I could die. But let's see. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Right? I'm thinking I have to navigate that ball across the bridge without actually accidentally activating the light bulbs that's that are on the bridge and I've got to get it here once I get it here it'll open this door mm -hmm. and that's how the puzzle ends for this shrine however there's this optional looking puzzle over here with a gigantic gear of some sort in there. Yeah, it opens the chest, the door for this chest. Yes. So let's see, what have we here? Wa oh god, water. Water and electricity mix very well. <laughs> so I gotta push this, then what happens? Oh! Okay. So, I have to get that to line up perfectly. Somehow. It's it's a matter of timing. No, Put your grade really. out. No? Wait, do, you want, do you want one hint? What's the hint? Look on the left side. The left side. Right. No, 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 no. Right in front of the yellow thing. Right in front of the... It's one light bulb. Yeah. No, no, no. Right in front of the yellow thing. Not the light bulbs. Oh, duh. Oh, but I can only move that a little bit. On the other hand, that's all I need. Move them after you step on the button. Right. Then I do this. That's not correct. Hmm. Ah! Crap! Where am I? How do I get out of here? Where's the ladder? Um, oops, Other the side. ladder's on the left side, yeah.
sorry, the left side when you were facing the light bulb. Yes, here we go. Up. Up, you link. Okay, here we go. So like this. No, it's still stopping that one too soon, so... Let's move that... That away? Maybe? Uh, but still, that one is not long enough. So that fixed the problem with one of them. But that did not fix the problem with the middle one. So, I'm not sure if I did this the right way, but do you want me to tell you what I did? You can't turn this one sideways. And if I just do this, it's not going to work. So how, did, how do you... This is, uh... This is a problem. And there, there's no other metal thing to do. Actually, there is. Where? But, um, like I said, I'm not sure if this is how you're actually supposed to do it. But Does you care how you're actually supposed to do it? Okay, go back to your chest that you grabbed out of the water. Yes. Bring and that then over use here. that? Yes. Huh. <laughs> that's what I, I feel did. like that's not how you're supposed to do it. I know, it. but I don't care. <laughs> but at the same token, whatever actually works. All right, up we go with the power of magnetism. Also, there's another place to put that glowy uh, electric ball up on your right. I don't remember what that does. Like, when you were on the bridge, it was on your right. All right, hang on. Let me just get this through here first. We'll plop that there. Oh, yes. I don't remember what that does but should I try one. to do that now up stay in the air don't touch the light bulbs Go this way. That's actually how I got it across the bridge, too, in the first place. Just up high. Oops. Uh. Well. It's gone. Uh. <laughs> Good job. Yay, I can't solve this puzzle now. I think it's just going to end up at the grates again. Or it sunk to the bottom. I don't know. Oh, wait. I think it's right there. Damn, I hoped... I had almost hoped that it was actually gone. <laughs> Why? Then you'd Why? Have to, like, go back outside and then come back inside. Because that would have been funny. I, I, there are a couple of, of shrines where you actually have to do that, because if you screw it up, you actually have to leave and come back. I believe it. But here's the thing. Like, I actually have to get this very precise. Yeah, but you can lower it down. Don't drop it from, like, up high. Okay, so that opened up here. And there's another chest. Hooray! What do we got? Mm. 
A gold rupee. Fantastic. That makes up for 300 of the 500 rupee I needed to spend to get this place, uh, to get the fountain unlocked. What would you do without me? <laughs> That's very true. I would probably die over and over and over again. But you do that anyway. Surprisingly, I haven't been as much, but at the same token... It's thanks to the fairies you've been kidnapping. That's very true. Okay, let's... Put that in there. Oh! So that's not optional. Gotcha. Well, we're gonna pop that out. You can just leave it there. Nope. I might zap myself. Oh. Alright, you. You'll zap yourself regardless. You can leave it. And move you forward. And down. And forward. About here, I think. Uh, well. Over just a smidge. Like, right about there. Let's see what that... Oh, actually, no. Let's... It reset the location of that thing, so I'm gonna move that forward. Move these... Over here. That should suffice. Let's see what this do. Okay, that's way too far for that. So let's move that. Just a bit further. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, I don't know if that's how you're supposed to solve it, but I don't see how you're supposed to solve it otherwise. Same. There's another chest in there. I didn't actually... Wow, three chests in one shrine. And a sapphire. That's a decent chunk of change that they give you from this shrine. Alrighty. Now, I wonder where this has to go. <laughs> well, that actually locked in place a lot easier than I thought it would. I thought it was actually going to make me fine-tune that, like, perfectly. And that should do it. At long last, we are keeping up with current events. Wait, I thought you were gonna die the girly outfit. I don't think you I should. can. You should at least try. You can. The whole I thing? Uh, the top, the bra remains teal, but everything else is diable. Why would the uh, bra be the only part you can't die? I don't, I don't know. But if you I want me to, I point. suppose I could. No, I mean, I thought that you were going to. I don't really care. <laughs> Alright. This is my fourth spirit orb, so I can actually now get another stamina or another heart. Um, I could probably use another heart. To be honest, I know that. Are you saying you couldn't use another stamina? You know, three extra stamina has has basically allowed me to get just about anywhere the hell I wanted to. For the moment. For the moment, but it's not like I. I mean, it's it's not like I need to go a ton of places. For the moment. All right. Uh, let's see. Because there are plants make... to collect out here. You can just or make stamina potions. A plant. I could. I do have the. I do have those Endura carrots. 
You can make them using stamina. 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 Uh, the mushrooms. The yep, ones. I have those also. And you can make um, the elixirs with. Uh, the restless crickets. Yes. I did send you that link on cooking, didn't I, DN? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I have been studying a bit. But okay. I need to get back to uh, this place anyway. The Hatno Village. So I might as well at least try to dye this outfit pink. If that amuses you. I think I got five rock salt. Maybe? I don't know. I haven't checked my inventory recently. Well, at least not specifically looking for that. Let's, let's see. How many rock salts do I have? 75. Six. So I've got enough for that plus one. But since I'm here, since Hora, you're here. I have brought you ancient materials. Let's upgrade the remote bomb. Three ancient shafts. I got it. Okay. Yes, Probably. let's do a thing. Improved remote bombs. This can definitely not hurt me. <laughs> no, I can't see a single way that could possibly go wrong. I haven't really noticed a difference with bombs. Maybe they've got more power? <laughs> I don't know. But look at that. Powered-up bombs have a st stronger blast and recharge faster. Huh. Allegedly. The Same recharge as prob faster is probably one of the more useful as- Well, there are only two aspects, but I feel like the recharge faster is probably the bigger benefit there. Alright. I have three ancient cores. Dien, you might consider this blasphemy, but I'm going to give those over to her and power up stasis. I mean, I gave her some too, so... <laughs> Freeze more so than I just our... Need... Okay, so this is why I couldn't target that stone talus. So this is what will let me target monsters. Yeah, but it only freezes them for like half a second. It's useless, in my opinion. Well, sometimes half a second is all you need to escape. I can't even draw my bow in half a second. <laughs> what if well, you already had your bow your drawn? Bow so fast well, then how are you using the stasis with your bow drawn? <laughs> I don't know. DW is the artist. Maybe she can tell you. How can you draw your bow while using the, the stasis? Um. I'd assume well, pencil and free... paper. I suppose so. Well, actually, I use Photoshop, but either works. Aha. Uh -huh. And I think, uh, Huon Drop and Tablet is how I do it. Alright, so that's all of those upgraded. Does she give me another upgrade for that? <laughs> What's this? Perhaps you already went and... Yes, I did. Nothing to fear. Uh-huh. Not even Calamity Ganon. I doubt that. No, you'll be fine against Ganon. I can't see a single thing that could go wrong, which is something I've been saying a lot. Maybe that means it's a lie. You have, yes. <laughs> so she and Impa are sisters. I don't think I knew this, but... That's fascinating. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, I think we're good. 
Well, that was some story exposition. But now that we're here in the Hatano village, today is in fact a good day to die. As is every day. My clothing, of course. Does that of count? Of course. Count? No. <laughs> no, it does not. Also, DN, you were talking about something like a Terry Town or a Terry Town or something like that. That literally does not exist in my game right now. Yeah, I know. You have to make it. I know. And I can't. I don't have yeah, the money to buy a house. No, but you don't. Do you have to buy the house? I thought yes. you just have to talk to the dude. No, no, you actually have to buy the house, I think. Mm -hmm. Can you try to talk to the dude? I thought I already did. But I Thank suppose you. since I'm here, I might as well try again. If I can remember where the hell that house is. Um, well, do your die stuff first, and then I'll tell you how to get there. All right. Time to die. And hopefully not drown in the process. Let's die. <laughs> yep, and the whole is... outfit from head to toe at once. Choose your die collar. I'm disappointed that his die shop is... You're not wrong. Like, I don't understand why, like, that one part... Like, even the, the, the trimming below it changes color. Yep. But, like... And the shoes change color, too. I guess the belt doesn't change either. Well, I wouldn't but. expect the belt... I'd expect the belt to be kind of metallic. Maybe the bra is, too? I don't know. Mm. Oh, I'm not wasting my hearty radishes on that. See if I've got Are anything you else. Sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Are you sure you're positive? 100%. I thought you were negative. Why would I be negative? You're always negative. <laughs> Are you? What? Why am I negative? <laughs> you should play this game, Kevin. It's actually kind of fun when I'm not dying. Me watching him play this is why I ever picked up a Zelda game in the first place. I've never played one before until this game. I'm looking... See, what he says is that I'm looking very chic. But in this case, it actually would make sense to pronounce it. You're looking very chick. You're looking very chic slate. Yes, well, the chic slate went in there too, and it didn't get dyed. I don't think it's the kind of material that absorbs dye well. Probably not. Thank heaven for small favors. All right. Oh, yes. To get to the dude... Um, if you're facing the die shop, go right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just got a yeah. bomb arrow from one of those jars. That's never happened before. That is hilarious, that is fantastic, and that is very much my tweak style. And also, who put that in there? Why? Who did put that in there? It wasn't me. But, by the way, now you can see what these say, right? They don't care that I'm wearing girls' clothes, just so long as I'm wearing some clothes. But this this was the lady that got upset at me for not wearing clothes earlier, because I wasn't wearing a shirt. Okay, so... Hold on. A Gotta finish smashing the pots. Yeah, after you bust all the pottery, turn left. Okay, here. And then it's up here by the shrine, right? I mean, there's a little bit of delay on the thing. Oh yeah, past the shrine, there'll be there's a, a bridge. House. Yeah, past. So cross the bridge. Yep. Now that you mentioned it, I I remember exactly where this is. It's it's around here somewhere. Where's that damned bridge? There's a fire. Um. Well, not go. for now. Go now the fire's gone. Houses, yeah. Um. 
Yeah, there's the bridge. Bob? <laughs> Fancy seeing you here? Maybe he owns the house. Maybe Bob does own the house. Let me put you down, Bob. What do you gotta say, Carson? So where's the pink guy? The which guy? There's a guy in pink. Uh, that That's me. No, the other guy. <laughs> the actual guy. <laughs> Your girl right now. <laughs> this one. That's not pink. Oh, that guy. Yes, him. What are you doing? Sounds dull. So, you know, you actually have to buy the house in order to actually get him to do something. Uh, I think you just need to start the quest. Are you sure? Try it. I mean, he's not gonna take money you don't have. Are you sure? I mean, if, if he ends up with negative money, I'll be very surprised. <laughs> Alright, blast the tree. I can help with the demolition, too. But it's your tree. Right? No, it's not. I don't own this house. You don't be. yet. I don't think I would ever be a homeowner in this game. Although, I think we said Bob owns that. Bob, how did you get back here? Oh, wait, you're not Bob. You're Bob's relative. Yes. Don't tell Bob what I did. Bob will be very angry. Uh, but all right, let's see. He's probably not going to take money that I don't have. I'd also rather not spend money on a house when I can... I mean, I definitely did not have 5k when I first talked to him. Well, you don't need 5k, do you? Right, if I say I can house. buy it... Oh. Right... 50,000 rupees. Uh, sure. Impossible. I wonder if you actually had 50,000 rupees. Okay. So I've started the quest. Need to give this guy 3,000... I thought it was only 1,000 okay, rupees. Talk, talk to him again and see if he says anything about Hudson. Okay. Or maybe you have to talk to Hudson himself. But I... It's one well, of here's Hudson. Let's see what he says. Oh, and you can take that that sledgehammer actually respawns. Yeah, but I think mine is uh Well just think pretty sturdy. This this guy is uh th this guy sees me dressed up in girly outfits that's dyed pink and says I look pretty sturdy. Well I see. <laughs> Did I or do I have I think I think I've got a, a new sledgehammer. Yeah, so I don't need I, I don't need a new sledgehammer. Oh, by the way, I've got two knights broadswords. Oh nice. And I got another Lionel sword and another Lionel bow. No Woko Club, so. No, Nope, I've kind of abandoned those, which is unfortunate. Oh, they give you two iron sledgehammers. Anyway, oh, he's yeah. probably the just gonna... The one at the front of the house is the oh. one that respawns. In case you ever just want Okay, but yeah, no, I'm not gonna... So, I, I need to get him his money, and I need to get him his wood. It might be just the wood at first. I know at some, at some point you can ask 
either Hudson or him, and Hudson will be like, oh, I'm gonna go build a town, and then he sets off. For I've tribe. got... How many bundles of wood do I have? I think I've got, like, eight. Yeah, so I'm not quite a third of the way there. Oh, how much ancient tech do I still have? 13 shafts, 17 gears, 69 screws, 39 springs. Not bad. But okay, I think... That's all that I wanted to do from here, except that there's an idol somewhere in here that I can pray to and get myself a heart, I think. Um, I'm not sure that that's here. There I is one. Have... I've seen it. There, there is also the one that you can use to exchange hearts for stamina. Yeah. But yeah. There, there, there's an actual idol idol here, too. Well, I don't know where it is. Then. I don't remember. Wow. Breaking stuff open has been very rewarding for me today. Well, well that barrel's just going to stay there then. <laughs> Floating in the frickin' duck pond. Let's play that. Well, there's mostly fish in here. They live there, And a frog. You know. But there's no frog here anymore. Armored you're carp. Pollute, you're polluting their house. I'm also literally stealing them. I feel like between the two, they'd probably object to me stealing them more than they'd object to me polluting their environment with a barrel. Probably. Oh, remember when somebody said, don't attack the chickens? Yes. That's not a thing in this game, from what I can yeah. find. I, it's, I in a, it's a thing in most other Zelda games, I believe. I mean, I still won't attack the chickens, because it's just not who I am. I just wanted to see Wait. what would happen. And the chicken... I, I threw a bomb at the chicken, the chicken was very much unperturbed. Well, um, you can't in, kill in the other chicken. Games, in other games, I believe the chicken will... So Kill you. A oh, we'll come back with a vengeance. <laughs> and possibly in some friends. It's really hard to tell. Yes, well, it might be the same chicken multiplied a billion times over. It might be the chicken came back with friends. I think I did watch a scene where someone attacked a cuckoo in a different game, and I was very amused. There's probably no reason to actually climb this flagpole, or if there was, I may have already gotten it. But you can sometimes find croc croc thingies up here. Croc, which reminds me, I do want to see the croc forest. If I can, well, I just literally phased right through that flag. But I don't even know where the croc forest would be. So north, north. north? Yes. That sounds dangerous. Why would north be dangerous? Well, the castle is, like, somewhere here, right? So go around. Uh, hang on. Which, I suppose it's time to address the elephant in the room. Yes, I did activate a tower in between streams. Sorry, not really sorry. And he says he doesn't like this game. While I'm in this general vicinity, though... Let's go here. Oh, that one. I don't know what that one is. You're, don't you're, tell him. Okay. <laughs> is it a good one or a bad one? Uh, don't tell him. Yep. You'll find out in short order. <laughs> Alright. I don't know what you two are up to, but I'm going to equip my better armor for this. <laughs> that may or may not be a good idea. I can neither confirm nor deny. Oh, by the way, I have this thing now. Uh, wait, I should also take my... Well, okay, if I'm wearing this, does this count as wearing a shirt? Um... 
debatable. I think it only has like one armor, so probably not. And you, I don't think you can upgrade it. Nope. So... I'm okay leaving that on if you're okay with me leaving that on. I'm fine. Sure. You are going the wrong way to go into that shrine. I know, but I wanted to show something <laughs> first. So those knight's broadswords that I got, I got from this Bok Oblin camp down here. Right, yeah. You see that there are three guard towers and that's a skull rock. Mm -hmm. I raided oh, that I last know. night. And I remember like just about every single one of those things had knights, you know, the, the, the knight's swords. I took them out by rolling, rolling bombing them from up here. <laughs> well, I took them out using, uh, it wasn't bomb oh. arrows. It might have been like the remote, the, the, the square remote bomb. Like, I think I, I did the exact same thing that I did otherwise, which was basically like stand on the nose of the skull and just drop bombs in through there. No, I rolled them down the hill. <laughs> um, just one thing real quick. If you look down from this mountain or whatever you're on. Yes. Like, the bottom. Um, like, go look towards the ocean. Um, I want to see something real quick. Can you see the beach? Uh, no, but I can see the shrine. Yeah, there's another shrine over there. But, I have um, that shrine marked. But, um, if you go down to the beach and follow it, um, uh, to your right, you're, you're gonna find, like, when you're facing the ocean and you go right, you'll eventually find, like, a little village that sells shock arrows. And there's ah. a shrine. There's a shrine in the village, too. Interesting. Just in case you wanted to explore. Well, exploring is something that I do. It's not everything that I do. But it's something that I do. Alright, what do we have here and why am I going to run away scared? What... What kind of death is in this shrine? We can't tell you that. This looks like... Yup. What do we got? Combat trial. Oh no. <laughs> a modest test of strength. Hey, at least it's not a major, right? The things we do fair. for science. To be <laughs> fair, you came here on your own. We didn't guide you to this one. <laughs> no, that's that's very true. Well, do I want the bomb arrows or do I want a different kind? Because the bomb arrows, if the thing gets too close, and I suspect it will... The bomb arrows have a chance of blowing up in my face. Yes, they always have a chance of that. You usually use them anyway. You know what? You're right. So I usually stab them to death until they start shooting lasers, then I bomb arrow them. What shield do I have equipped? I want this one. Okay, so I've got Disson and Disson. This is going to be painful. Probably. If I can help it, though, I need to get a picture of this thing. Um, I would suggest doing it immediately as soon as it lets you act. Yeah. That's... And then quickly just put it out. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. 
Hi. We should put the Street Fighter theme song on for this. <laughs> Good job. Woohoo! Now stab it in the face. You well look. <laughs> If I didn't have no, all my not armor, yourself up in the face, but <laughs> look, it was the smart thing to do. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was exactly what I advised you to do. When is that ever the smart thing to do? You might Ooh. want to. If I didn't have that defense up, I probably would have been dead. I was gonna All say right. use a use a full recovery plus something. Actually, not a bad idea. That, that seems a little excessive, depending on how much plus. I, I mean, think the plus you... six is fine. Like, I don't want to use the plus nineteen. Maybe the full recovery plus three. Uh, I feel like you're gonna need more than that. You're right. The plus nineteen is excessive. The plus six may not be. Uh... Okay, go towards the column when, when they're gonna start spinning. Ooh! Jesus! I didn't actually mean to use that one. This fight is going well! <laughs> I meant to actually use my sword. <laughs> it's a completely different button. Okay, let him hit the column. That works, I guess. He's gonna start lasering, so shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. I am. Give me a bow. Give me a B. Give me an O. Give me a W. What the Got hell? It. Death. Yes. <laughs> lots and lots of that. Well done, you. Oh, good lord. I think, I think you got a core. Ancient battle axe? That's nice. And that's actually better than a lot of other stuff that I have. Remember, it's two-handed. I'll drop a knight's broadsword for that. I did get a core! Wow! Nice! Guard shield plus. Well, I know what I'm ditching for that. This is a lino shield. It kind of sucks. I mean, I got two of them, so... All right. <laughs> Are you serious? What? Did you seriously just ditch a Lionel shield instead of... What? Instead of it's the other Guardian shield? It's only a 30. That's crap. <laughs> That's, I mean, the Lionel shield I have is 62, but... So, here's the thing about the Guardian shields. DW, and why I want to keep more than one if I can. Remember when I thought that I parried that Guardian 2 scout last time? I didn't. The, um... The Guardian shields will actually kind of automatically deflect some of that power right back at the Guardian just by me doing this. Right? It's not as good as if I parry it properly. But... Like, that gives me a defense boost against Guardians, and that means that I can parry them with relative ease. 
On the well, note of guardians, I just actually... sent you a, well, I I sent you a thing a little bit ago. Uh huh. You may or may not find it amusing. I probably will. Well, this thing is off doing its spiel. Let me take a look, see at that. <laughs> uh keep in mind though that I'm left-handed. Yes, that is why I put wrong in parentheses. Yes, well. <laughs> but that's <laughs> that's fantastic. I love it. I assume that's the conclusion of whatever uh, 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 of the project you're working on. Y yes, it, that is about what happen. That is what happens next, I suppose. <laughs> very, very, very amusing. I was not going to do that before I, I drew the Boko Club in the right hand. So, appreciate my mistake. I appreciate it. <sighs> All right. See, now you just have to put it on screen. So I know what the heck you're talking about. Let me see if I can. Give us a sec. I gotta save it first. Not there. And let me add in an image. I it, it's clunky, but I I can do this. Just if it's if it's like completely oversized or undersized, don't blame me. But that's what uh, what DW just drew. <laughs> oh God. Did that not add properly? <laughs> Poke. You saw that though, right? Yeah. Keep in mind that is a Boko Club with in his hand. Okay, where did the image disappear to? Because it's still showing being there. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, you, you all saw that, so I'm just gonna remove that. That that. That is what DW just sent me, and that is absolutely fantastic. Alright. So, go to the beach, go right. I wonder if there are guardians hanging around here. What if I sneak around up here and try to go as far to the right as I possibly can? Maybe I can see yeah, the village... Works from above. I think you're gonna have to go a ways. It's possible. Oh, hello. I'm not sure exactly where you are, but... That's okay. I'm not sure where I am either. That's a different Baco camp than the one that I wiped out earlier. So maybe it would be better for me to just go down... Is that a shrine I see? Well, that's a something. That, that's oh, a that's something. What, what is I think this? That's, I think that's the village. Oh, good. Then I'm a I paraglide. Think I think that's the market of the village. Now, I don't think that I'm going to make it the full way, mind you, but I can probably make it a good chunk of the way. Oh, yeah, there's a shrine over there. If you dropped on this ledge, you could probably recharge your stamina and then glide farther. Nah, it's fine. See, this is what I mean when I say I don't think that I need stamina.
This looks like a nice little place. And I missed that, but that's my own fault. A couple of boats hanging around here if I actually wanted to go out to sea. And there's palm fruit in the trees. A and boat oar has 14 power. Um, that also does remind me I want to uh, de-equip this thing. And I will equip this thing. There's a fruit where? By the tree. The palm tree. There's a lot also, of palm trees. Well, some of the palm trees have the palm fruit in them, but this one is, like, on the ground. Oh. I could blow up the palm trees. Yeah, and then you can get the wood you need for that one guy. Yes. And there's, like, a crap ton of crabs just wandering around. Like, the... The ones you need for the defense and offense food. Huh. Well, that didn't net me any wood or any fruit. No, blow it up again. Really? Yes. Yeah, you okay. have to put it into smaller chunks in order to have it really form bundles, I think. Could be, well, that was one bundle of wood. Okay. Out of that entire tree, all I got was one bundle of wood. Yeah, the most you'll get from one tree is two, but that's pretty rare. Iron sledgehammers are everywhere. Let's blow that up. It's an acorn, an apple, an arrow. I... It's good to know that there are a lot of iron sledgehammers hanging around, because the iron sledgehammer is my favorite weapon for taking on the stone talus. I like the dragon bone mobbling club for that. I think... I, I think... that the... that the iron sledgehammer actually has more power when you factor in its bonus against the stone talus than the dragon bone mobbling club. I think. Uh... I mean, I've tried both, and I think the club actually does more damage. I take them down faster. Ah! A rupee! Hi, Bob. Hello, Bob! Thank you for the money. Bob's just very well aware that I am a charity case. So okay. Bob is being nice to me again. Man, oh man, I am- I just got to this village, and I'm doing nothing but destroying it. That's fine, they don't mind. They really don't, and these trees will, like, grow back almost instantly, so... That's probably why they don't mind. Yeah. This is a magical world, alright. Uh, well, this is not exactly what I intended to do today, but... Hey, progress is progress. Yeah, I don't exactly know what it is that I'm progressing, but... You're getting wood for the dude, and there's a shrine at the north end of town. So... That is true. Okay. I need as many shrines as I can get. Fruit! And another bob. Iron Shell Crab. Beautiful. Come here, Crab. Razor Claw Crab. Hardy Blue Snail, or Blue Shell Snail. Lots of interesting stuff hanging around here. Yep. Oh, you can't escape. Run, little crab, run! They cannot escape. Their fate is sealed. Alright, let's see if I can get both of these trees with one more blast. Kaboom! Booyah! More wood. More wood. Razor Claw Crab. 
This is a very nice little village, and I feel like I'm not in danger of dying here. Unless I blow myself up while trying to harvest wood. Tree branch. Who needs a tree branch? I've got much more power. Dang, I should have had. Oh, hey, I should have had it had you using a tree branch instead of a local club. <laughs> that would have potentially <laughs> been funnier. <laughs> Literally poking it with a stick. <laughs> Timber. Oh, on the note of oh, the project. I think I just sank oh. a boat. On the note I of what? I think I forgot to talk. On the note of the project, I think I forgot to talk to DN about this. Oh, yes. Okay. The suggestion for the project started as follows. Well, so D DN knows the premise because I actually told her about it before I told you. Ah. So, what happened is. I am an artist, so when I see these things, I take them as a request to draw those things, and I wanted to draw those things. So, what I, I did not accomplish yet was figuring out how to visually represent you and to a certain ex extent also Midori. Hmm. And oh, I have been advised God. to discuss your visual representation with you. Uh, give me a second. One of the step artists actually drew me at one point. Let me find where that is. And I will send it to you. Yes. Great. So th this is going to be this is I, and I I think I already also show, showed DN what what you what you had yesterday, which was just absolutely glorious. Yep. I will be sharing this when it's over if I have your permission, Donnywent. You do. Excellent. Okay, I can remove that pin. Uh, pin. It's not in the Bulba Garden forum. In folder, whatever. Mm, okay, I'll have to look for it later. There we go. Alrighty. Well, yeah, no, this seems like a very nice and peaceful place. And there is, in fact, that shrine over there. So... Hopefully this shrine won't be as hectic as the previous shrine. That was just... Oh, my God. I don't remember what this one is. I just remember it exists. I mean, you remembered what that one was. Yeah, that's because I kept going there to try to farm cores. That's fair. And I can do that now myself, except, like, I'm probably gonna die. Although, I didn't even use a fairy while I was in there. I will point that out. I probably still have all five fairies in my pants. Yep. See, my whole purpose is to give you confidence. Oop against these things. <laughs> I dropped that tree on myself. I am an idiot. Hey, you only lost one of your extra hearts to that, though. Yeah, I know. Hi, Mido. Hello, Hello Midori! How are you Mido. feeling? I should show her the uh, thing, too. Yes. The new thing. And yes. Tell her about what you need from her. I have already told her that, because oh. I <laughs> Okay, where is uh, it? Ah, fruit. Here we go. No! Midori, hopefully what, what Dawning is about to show you will help you with your recovery. Oh, did she finish the picture? No. Mm, something no, else, but, I... but related. Okay. Hi, Bulba Garden. Hello, Bulba Garden. Welcome to uh, Me is Trying to Harvest Wood from Trees. Welcome, Brave Raiders. I almost knocked that tree on myself, too. I am not good at this. They fall <laughs> in the opposite direction of where you place the bombs. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Uh, yes, it does, because the blast would knock it away from it. 
Yeah, but this is a video game, so it's supposed to be reverse logic. Nah. Yes, no, KR no. Bulba Raid. Um, I will not be playing Breath of the Wild with you guys tonight. <laughs> oh no! What are you playing instead? Um, or are you actually just going to be watching? No, I'm actually playing Sims. Oh. Yeah, Hello, Alexandra. Hello. Welcome. Yeah, my Twitch is in my room and it's laying down. It's painful, so. Yeah, no, I'm I. Really just with it. I getcha. I getcha. <laughs> hey, Alex. Kaboom. I'll have 30 stacks of wood in no time at this rate. Yep. And then maybe I will have a house. And then get arrested for getting arrested. Get arrested for being what? Yep. Oh, yeah. Deforestation. Yep. Probably. Yep. Except these okay. trees are just going to grow right back. Okay. Oh, God. Let's trip over my dogs. All right. Bomb. And that one would have fallen onto the house if it wasn't for very convenient physics. Physics are very normal and realistic in this game. I've noticed. They actually oh, aren't that bad. I mean, it makes a lot more sense in this game than it does in some other game. Anyway, before I started blowing all of these trees to Kingdom Come, I was actually here to specifically find that shrine. So... There's two more trees in the way before the shrine. And it's raining. It is raining, but rain only affects my bomb arrows, not my... Especially not my new and improved bombs. Oh, I got two stacks of wood from that, too. I was worried about your climbing. <laughs> You were worried about my climbing. My bandana has been upgraded twice. It's invincible now. <laughs> okay, I, I have seen what DW has sent me. And? I love it. Isn't You're it so fantastic? It is great. Laughing is not, though. <laughs> All right, the Bulba Garden peoples weren't here, so I'm going to share that again. Give me just a second. Uh, uh. And existing? Did I like delete it? Delete it? Or is it still here? Wait for it. Yeah. No. So I've got to make a new one. So we'll just call it that. And so DW has shown my first battle with a guardian, and there it is. <laughs> <laughs> This is exactly what happened, I promise. This is exactly so, how it so went. This is very historically accurate. I incredibly historically accurate. She nailed it. <laughs> this is what happens in these games. Nothing on me. Ah. But yeah, no, for those of you who weren't here last week, I did actually face a Guardian. It went slightly better than that, but only slightly. I'd say it went about the same. I mean, okay, it, it went about the same as just about any other battle I've had against a major opponent. Namely, I relied way too heavily on my bomb arrows, eventually managed to blow it the hell up, and lived to tell the tale. Probably, well, no, actually, specifically because I had fairies. Also, to build the town, you're gonna need, like, a hundred things of wood. So well, something to do on your lunch break. Is harvest more wood? Yes. I mean, to How be fair. To link up Chuck? Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> How much wood could a link chuck chuck? Yes, all of it, as it so happens. I mean, how much wood am I at now? Let me sort that. 36, so I've already got what I need plus 6. And as long as it's raining, I'm not gonna actually go up to the... 
because I don't think I can, because climbing is severely impaired by the rain. So hey, I might as well just continue fruit. to blow up trees for a little while. Yeah. I mean, the palm fruit is better than apples. It is. Definitely and it's, good. you know, it's not like I have anything to do or anything better to do while it's... Well, look at that. It's not raining anymore. The rest of those trees are lucky. You win this time, Flea. You win this time, nature. But only this time. Look at all the D4s. They'll be back! <laughs> They'll be back before anyone even notices that they're gone. I have the... noticed that they're gone and they're not back yet. You haven't noticed that they're gone. You think that you've noticed that they're gone, but it's just an optical illusion. <laughs> You're making the assumption that he actually cares about trees. I mean, nature is kind of important. Kind that of. mountain did protect me from the Guardian last time, Grumbles and Resilient. Oh. Yeah, you, you very much have the right to grumble in Brazilian. I'm going to activate this before going in. For those of you who did arrive relatively recently, though, I will say I did have a shrine that was a moderate test of strength, and that went about as well as you probably expect it did. Oh, I missed the high so tail lizard. I didn't actually die, and I didn't even use any of my fairies, but it was rough. It was it was not easy. I did get an ancient core out of it, though, which is great, because I just spent three of them to upgrade my stasis. And you, need you missed both the trees. I did miss both the trees. You need like nine for the for the armor. Uh, to be fair, am I actually going to be wearing that armor? Uh, okay, fine. You need six because you don't wear a shirt. Yes. Well, you yeah, know, I, I think we decided that what I'm wearing now, we, we've come to the consensus that what I'm wearing now is not technically a shirt. What Someone are you wearing? Hmm? He's wearing the top from the girly clothes. He's wearing oh, a bra. God. <laughs> it technically gives me slightly more armor than I would have otherwise. Like a fraction. My God. I did dye that outfit pink, though, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Um, uh, which is only mildly annoying to me because it would mean to... I make my art or canonically accurate, I do have to correct some things. You do? I don't have that shirt in any of my gun stuff. Well, it's not canonically well, accurate I at the time, because at the time I was... I, you know what, to be fair, since I'm not actually going to be fighting anything... <laughs> I was just concerned about the, um... About the Guardian. Yeah, I mean, at the, at the time he was fighting the Guardian. Yeah, um, you're right. Certainly speaking, he was shirtless, so. I get a feeling I know what to do uh, here. And and it's not... Uh, <laughs> yes, I know what to do here. Are you okay. sure you know? Yes. I don't Take believe this you. Off. Put it up, up. We'll put that down there for now. I will stand here. Then I'll take that. I'll put it up, back, and down. And wouldn't you know it. That was... you didn't even have to t put it up there. You could have just moved it from where you were. Eh. And you do have to fight something. Da -da -da. You well, I outranged that one. 
All right, Bye. well, Kasumi. see you around, Kasumi. Thank you for stopping by. Ciao, Alex. Why are these not killing it? Oh, I guess it did. All righty, then. That must have been made of slightly sterner stuff than the last ones that I fought. Guardian oh, sword. Yeah. Let me take this arrow right. back. Uh, how much power does this guardian sword have? It doesn't tell me. Might be it... Yes, it does. You just have to attempt to... Oh, no. It's only in the chest. Okay. So it would be the same as this one, but mine has high critical hit chance. So I'm keeping the one that I've got. Fair enough. I think that chest back there is magnetic. That it yeah. is. I was getting to that. I wasn't going to leave oh. it behind. I wasn't sure if you were going to try and find a puzzle for it. Knight's Broadsword. So I don't need that, and I'm going to leave it there. In case you need in it In case later. I need it later. Now, where is the rest of this puzzle? I think... Go back this to... This is where I came from. No, 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 wait. Go wait. to... You. To your left. That's not left. I got Muramasa? I don't know. I think you're supposed to use, like, the box or the chest uh, to put on top of that button. Over. What button? There is no button. Yeah, there is. Look to your right. That's his left. Oh, there is, in fact, a button. All right. Left. Do you Whatever. think I would lie to you? Yes. Yes, you <laughs> would. Yes, you absolutely would. <laughs> All right, Link. Up and over and down. Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> that. He was <laughs> pressing the button in the most complicated way possible. I did it, didn't I? <sighs> I've said this before and I'll say it again. You can do things the right way, you can do things the wrong way, or you can do things the me way. Or you can do things the DN way, which is just throwing chests at different puzzles and hoping it works. <laughs> yes, well. You uh, so, again, I don't know if this is how you do it, but you might want to go bring that box that you were using. You mean the chest? Yeah. No, both. There was also the big box, and I'm sure you could get use out of both. Oh, what the heck just happened? Oh! They are with spamming cast. For God's it's... sakes. Uh, oh, I forgot to... That's that. alright, Dian. We'll figure that out another you. time. It's you very rude of you to... That. It's very rude of you to spam Caps. Caps does not appreciate being spammed. Okay. What did that do? That did absolutely nothing. Well, actually, no, that didn't do absolutely nothing, because now I think I can get on here. And if I bump this off... Why am I not going up? You need to put it on the other one. I did put it on the other one. No, the one that's... that's oh, the... right. It's these two and these two. Waha! Alright, what have we here? An opal? Money is money. And now I can climb up on this one. 
and I can punt this over this way a little further next time. There we go. That lets me go up here. Oh, good. Puzzle solved. And I got two chests, so I think that's about right. Let me check behind the old monk. Nothing here yet. Yeah, Caps only streams on Thursdays and Saturdays, so no... And not on this channel anyway, so... I don't know, but... That doesn't change the fact that, that you shouldn't spam him. In fact, that might actually mean in spamming him now is worse. Well, now he can spam the Caps fan all he wants, because I turned it off. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Alright, how many spirit orbs is that? Six? Seven? Six, I think. Midori, are you still there? I'm eating. And okay. I have muted my mic when my dog started going crazy. No, that's fair. That is fair. I just get concerned when one of the voices in my head mysteriously disappears. I'm eating since I just got home, took care of my animals first, so. That's fair. All right. Well, would you look at that? Literally all of the trees that I chopped down are, in fact, right back to where they were before. No actual trees were harmed in the making of all that wood. Anyway, since I'm here, I might as well actually investigate this village. Fisherman's Shield. That's a drop from 18 to 3. Sounds worth it. Not even close. Not Take even remotely close. Take a picture of it. Oh, I should have taken a picture of it before blowing it to smithereens. It's all right, I'm sure it'll be back. I keep forgetting that I actually have to take pictures of stuff, other than, like, the one thing that was trying to kill me. I did get a picture of that, right? Check my yeah. album. That's this one, this one. Yeah. That thing's scary. Now you need a guardian for Oh, hi. What are you? Oh, you're a dog. Never mind. Pet the puppy. Puppy! Don't bomb the puppy! I didn't know what it was! It looked suspicious! You're suspicious and nobody bombs you. You're abusive. I don't plan on bombing that. But I can't actually pick it up because it's not going to let me. Like, it literally will not let me. It should despawn if you go into a shrine, yeah? Who knows? That's a thing. Let if me get this. If you're going to bomb the puppy, then you should bomb yourself in recompense. Let me get this out of I here. I agree. I'm not going to bomb anything. I just was using it to see. Because it's dark uh, down here. Uh, and this thing glows in ethereal mm, light. Mm, it is. But yeah, no, it's, I'm not getting that out of there anytime soon. So. And this is why you should always use the round one when you're in small spaces. That's fair. Where's the shrine? It's up here. Well, up cliff, not stairs, but same big, uh, same difference. 
Eggless is just a really big staircase. The cliff is just a suggestion. Ah, uh, there's the shrine. You know what, at least while I'm here... I'll bomb these guys. I might as well. Nobody's gonna miss him. The shrine will miss its shade. No, it won't, because I'm literally about to go in and right back out, and they're gonna be right back there when I'm when I'm returned. Let's bomb the shrine too while we're at it. Because I feel like a mad bomber today. I don't know. Bombing is apparently my most effective way of getting bundles of wood. Oh, I don't even have to go back into the shrine. It's back. That should mean it's despawned down there yes. with the puppy. Yes. I wasn't going to bomb it. Hmm. Are you sure? Positive. If I was going to bomb it, I would have bombed it even over your objections. <laughs> but then all three of us would come after you. You think you don't anyway? <laughs> no, I mean in person. <laughs> Do not harm puppies. We'll have a real issue if you harm any dogs. I have not. I'm just I saying. You, you know about me and dogs. I do. Ah, <laughs> uh, five o'clock in the morning, when I do my best everything. What should you do cook for tonight's dinner? Fish! I'm guessing. Steak. I don't even oh, like yeah. steak. Okay. She should she cook she should cook steak because I don't like steak, so I have steak to get rid of probably. Can't go risking my life, I see. Mm. Alright. Sure. Eris Beach. I don't know where Eris Beach is. Um, KR, I applaud. Oh, sorry. Remember the way you came from? Yes. From the other, go in the opposite direction. So, so from go here, just this way. Yes. Just keep following the beach. I see. Um, what kind of monsters are we talking about, by the way? Um, just block ones, I think. Oh. Maybe a lizard? I don't remember. There's a hearty truffle down here. Link, Link, for God's sakes, duck further. He's also, too don't, tall. For, don't forget about the market. I don't know if they'll actually sell me uh, shock, shock arrows because I've got more than I've I've got more than fifty. Mm, you could check. What are you talking about with the rain? Uh-huh. Oh, Eventide Island. No. You don't want to be on Naked and Afraid? Nope. That sounds like a horrible idea. How did you know it was that, though? <laughs> I took a wild guess. <laughs> he probably just saying no to whatever we suggest. It's not a bad policy, honestly. I wasn't even suggesting it. I was just like, oh. I, I'm trying to remember, didn't that island like, give some like really good rewards? If you actually it's to beat not it? worth it because I won't be able to defeat it. Yeah, I didn't bother finishing it. I, was just I like, actually did finish it. Like, okay, it might give the best items in the world, but... It's not worth a thing if I literally can't finish it. 
Yeah, my dog will also talk back to you. <laughs> I'll be like, what do you need? She'll be like, oh, and I'll be like, what? And she'll be like, ah. <laughs> Anyway, uh... Huskies may be chatty, but I've never had a dog that is more of a terror than my Husky mix. I used to want a Husky. <laughs> See if I can't bomb all three of these at once. Cup, boom, a loom. Be able to. Look at all that fruit. Hey, there's a hearty radish there. Hearty radish, hearty radish. Just, yes, just, yes, there is. Yeah. Those are good. Fruit is also good, but. <laughs> all right, let's bomb this one. And bomb this one. While I'm bombing that one, I'll grab the wood from this one. Oh, I got both Hi, of them. Cap. Hello, Caps! And hello, oh, new laptop for Caps. You spam Caps and he appears. Yes, we spammed Caps earlier and the Caps fan did in fact appear. It's a miracle. I'm causing major deforestation, Caps. Except not really, because the trees respawn faster than I can knock them down. Not quite that fast, but they do respawn pretty quickly. What is making the t that terrible noise? What Maybe. terrible noise? My voice? I don't appreciate that. <laughs> the oh, laughing. the laughing. I honestly don't know. It's probably some kind of my jungle drawing. creature. It was my drawing that was making that noise. Oh, you gotta show Caps your drawing. Put it on screen again. I actually can. Caps, behold. My first battle against a guardian. 100% historically accurate. Yes. 100% canonically accurate, right down to the using a Baco club. <laughs> Dawning drew it. Oh, that's a kookaburra. I don't know what it's doing in Lurillan Town, but it's a kookaburra. Uh, capybara? No, a kookaburra, the bird. The weird oh. bird from Australia that makes that noise that he's referring to. Oh. I couldn't tell you. I'm just looking for some monsters to beat up on the beach, because I was told that there were some. Well, you have a ways to go. They're not exactly close to the village. Oh. Well, this is going to take far longer than I thought it would. Yep. How boring. That's not a... Hey, think of all the crabs you can catch along the way. <laughs> Man, this sword is very oh. unwieldy. Take pictures of the choo-choos. Oh, yeah. Too late. Oh, they're, they're already dead. dead. Oops. Man, that thing just jumps around like a madman, doesn't it? Yeah, oh. What I tend to do is run away from it and turn around as soon as it runs up to me. Or you could do that. Shoot it in the ass with arrows. That was a blue one? No, that was a green one. Soldier's broadsword. Eh, I don't think I need it. No, knights are better. Yeah. Gotcha. Now, I'm probably not going to actually complete this compendium, but... If I remember to get, to, to get pictures of stuff, I will. Also, that thing actually beat me up somewhat competently. Welcome back, Joe. 
Hello, Joe. Welcome back. Yes, all of the crabs. All right, what do I we got? To take pictures of the crabs. Uh -huh. take a picture oh, of the let crab. me take a picture of the uh, acorn because I don't think I've gotten a picture of an acorn yet. I Except apparently I don't have to. That's arbitrary. There was something over there, but I'm just going to delete that. Delete. That was, was a hardy lizard. Oh. I didn't know those were a thing. Did I get a picture of a tree branch yet? Yes. You never know. Anyway, I've got a bunch of those crabs now. Those are the iron crabs, so I don't have a picture of that yet. Do I have a picture of whatever the heck? Yes. And I've got a picture of the goat, too. Come along, dinner. This is... This is a much, much, much longer trek out than I thought it would be. Ah, but I think I'm finally getting to my destination. Hmm... I don't think that's, um... You don't? No, I think it's... they're further out. But you can actually stand at, like, the top of the slope and, like, roll a bomb down at them. There's a yellow choo-choo, too. Yep. Take a picture. Wait. I think it got the... It got uh, the frickin' moblins instead... Or the buckoblin instead. I want the damn choo-choo. There we go. Okay. So let's do as DN suggests. May or may not cost an arm and a kidney. That would be unfortunate. I don't use the rolling bombs nearly often enough. But they are, in fact, a thing you can use. My friend got a gaming laptop for, like, 1k. I was really <laughs> mad. Like, he has almost the same specs as I do. And I was like... Roll, roll, roll your boat. Well, that went in the wrong direction. I'll just I think you need there. to. I think you probably want it on uh, the other side of that that split in the rock. Yeah. That's better, but still. What? Hold on. Strike. I rolled a strike. Whee. Um, isn't that a spare since they didn't all go down? Quiet, you. <laughs> I'm on strike. Whee. Kaboom. This is fantastic. I know, right? I've never actually done this before. It's this fun. is a lot funner than... <laughs> All right, will they investigate? Go investigate. Kaboom! <laughs> they are very intelligent. Baka, look, they're your friends. <laughs> I didn't ever... Cl er, cl yes, I'm friends with them because as I like being the smartest one in my friend group. That's fair. I think I missed that one. Oh, well. You have more confidence in yourself. Who was that directed at? You. Yeah. Woohoo! That electric choo-choo blasted the, uh... The Bach Goblin with a... With an electric blast. 
There's still uh, one more creature. Go investigate. Kaboom. <laughs> oh, man, this is so much fun. Uh, but that one went way too far the wrong direction. Go investigate it. Okay, one of them literally just disappeared. Oof. I don't think he disappeared. I think he just got out of range for you to see the, uh, the health, health bar. A distinct possibility. Yeah, oh. because I can still see the outline. Yeah. It's just harder because rain and fog and stuff. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. If you blow up the choo-choo jellies, they also discharge, apparently. I saw yes, that. Yes, I noticed. And that one just got blasted away. You know what? I'll take this one out with a good old-fashioned arrow to the brain. What the flip? Oh, shit. <laughs> that uh, was out of nowhere. Okay. You all right, Midori? Middle angry. M middle, what happened? Spike Baco bat. My birds are out of their cages. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh crap. That does not sound good because I nope. assume you have dogs that will. That not is not the good. Best things to the birds. Uh, you should go deal with that. Save the birds. Yes. Very much blow save up, the birds. Blow up the boxes. I am planning on doing that. He left. I was looking for more monster parts. Alright, what treasures do we have now? Fruit! Lots of fruit. Yes, yes. Boat where I don't need. Barrel I don't need. The heck is a kilton? It, it I believe it's pronounced kill ton. Because it kills tons. Uh He's a merchant. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> Sounds like something that I would like to avoid, actually. <laughs> yeah, I figured, but it was a necessary joke. <laughs> oh, he hasn't met he hasn't met Kilton yet, no. Alright, uh, so I still have to keep going. I'm still looking for this beach that I'm supposed to rid of monsters. Yeah, Caps, you forget that he doesn't really explore much. So, like, the only reason he's out here is because I was like, hey, there's a shrine. <laughs> uh, Mito left the voice call to go deal with the birds, I assume. Hopefully she he gets them all sorted out. Let me take this one. I see those Lazalfos. It's raining, so I'm not going to have the best of luck climbing, but... <laughs> Uh oh, what the hell was that noise? I heard a weird noise. Get me up here. I I am hearing a very strange noise. I am not hearing that noise because I have Twitch muted, so I'm gonna assume you're telling the truth here. It's you. You're not right there, Caps. Are you sure he's not? Pretty sure. Uh, where are those Lazalfos that I was climbing up these cliffs to bomb? Did they escape on me? Oh no, they're over here. 
Oh, hi. Get lost. Don't need you. All right, now switch back to Rolly Bombs. <laughs> How have I not done this before? Well, that took care of that. And the bomb rolls down the hill. Bomb blasts away lizards. I'm glad I upgraded these. It was well worth the money. Well, Okay, well worth the uh, ancient tack. That must have been a critical that sent it go flying like that. This is fun. This is very fun. think you can critical with bombs only bomb arrows oh well that's unfortunate i don't but think oh they're well. gonna chase that one no and that one's gonna go in probably the wrong direction also so let's They'll go in attack oh and attack wherever it blows up so that's true it is somewhat predictable in that respect i mean i can knock them both out with arrows at this point, assuming that I can get in a decent shot. Like that. And... Oh, well, that one was a little bit more alive than I thought. Your bow is a little bit less alive than you'd hoped, I see. Eh. Yes, go investigate. Go investigate. You're getting close. <laughs> eh. Blow it up and then drop another one, maybe? Yeah. I don't know how long you'll stick over there. Oh, he's just going in circles. He, he is does chasing that. his own tail. They do that. They're not exactly bright. Well, let me switch to a different bow, and I should be able to take that one out with an arrow also. Assuming that it actually slows down for a second. You know what? This is actually an effective strategy. I hate moving targets. There we go. Got him. All spears. All melee Isn't weapons. They, for the most part, they do tend to mostly carry spears, don't they? No, a lot of them carry things like uh, bow and arrows. Huh. I feel like I see more lizards with spears than anything else. Maybe, but I see a lot of them with arrows. It could be the area that I'm in. It's unfortunate. Anyway, this, hopefully, is what I'm supposed to actually be doing something about. Those crabs? I no, think, the, I don't. The, the I don't monsters. think anyone's worried about those crabs. 
I feel like everyone is worried about those crabs. You're right. They sh we should be fearing for their lives now that you stuff them in your pants. You will. I stuff a lot of things in my pants in this game. There is a surprising amount of room in those pants. There is. Uh huh. So I think that I have to deal with that. Are there any monsters hanging out here? It doesn't actually seem like it. There's this fire. There are these crates that I can blow up. Along with this pot. Yeah, and that just dumped everything that it had all over the place. Link, get out of there. Fishing harpoon. That's only got eight power, though, so... Definitely not worth my time. There was an arrow in there, though. That was definitely worth my time. Alright, so this this thing of monsters, or this, this thing about the monsters... I'm, I, like I said, I'm guessing that, that this base... Hardy Durian? That's nice. Go collect all the fruit. Uh, Hardy Durian. Yes, it is in fact a great item. Alright, let's get back to the dock. We'll blow up this thing. Oh, good, it's raining again. Oh, I was muted and I didn't notice. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. unfortunate. I was, like, telling you stuff and then just talking to myself. Oh. Um, so I was saying, take a picture of the harpoon and the birds that are flying overhead also count for the companion. Did I take a picture of the palm fruit thinking about it? Uh, if you didn't, understand. if you didn't, you can just take one out of your inventory and drop it on the ground. Yes. But I have more that are hanging out over here in the water, so... Let me, uh, let me do that. Get a picture of the harpoon. I hate this compendium thing. I'm sure it gives you something when you finish it. Fishing harpoon. And I need a picture of the boat oar also. Pity I can't get multiple in the same shot. Oh, I know I don't have to do it. But I'm crazy, so... This is actually quite the uh, impressive encampment that these guys have. Take a picture of the birds. What birds? The ones flying overhead. Aha. Uh -huh. Seagulls. Do you know why they call them seagulls? Because you see gall. Because they see galls. They're not from Gaul. Well, oh, I literally jumped off the damn dock. Good job. <laughs> Crazy tourists taking pictures from under the dock. It happens. Link, in the in this game in particular, it doesn't strike me that Link is particularly intelligent. I blame myself. I mean, you keep bombing him. I don't think that con repeated concussions is going to make anyone particularly smart. Like I said, I actually do blame myself. Now, is there an intelligent way to approach to approach this encampment? Yeah. Yes, but Link isn't intelligent, so he can't accomplish it. 
That's what you think. So, do you want a hint? Oh. Or? Uh, well. Uh, somehow that counted as choo choo, so I'll take it. <laughs> tiny corner of a choo choo. A tiny corner of a choo choo, indeed. I got that one already, right? Yeah. I still don't know what a Triforce is. I don't either. Oh, I got a hearty lizard. Sounds very delicious. Oh, um, just one thing. Yes. If you're gonna take a picture of a fairy, don't take a picture of the ones in your pocket. No, because that'll get They away. will escape. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I kind of figured. Where am I? No, 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 you're going the right way. Go that, keep going the way you were going. You can snipe the towers from, from... Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I figured, but I don't want to swim through the water to do that. Fragments of power from the creature. What? This does not make any sense. Who broke the goddess and why? Yeah, why would anyone fragment a goddess? Um... And was she red-headed? Because they wanted to steal her power and... maybe? Oh, hey, look, a chest. Or yep. maybe it's... It's okay. magnetic. I feel like, actually, she was red-headed. I've seen or pictures of her once, I hmm. think. Whoa! Oh, it's an enemy! Nope, she was blonde. Where the hell? Hit it! It drops money! It drops money! Hit it! Hit it! Hit I got it, it, it! I got it! I got it! I think it depends on which iteration of the game's game, whether she's blonde or redheaded. That didn't seem worth it, but okay. But those are the dragons. I don't think he's after, like, red dragons. Hmm. Oh, there's a Lizalfo hanging out over there. I'm gonna shoot it in the... Face. Well, it's probably a better idea than where I was planning on shooting it. I always aim for the face. <laughs> Done. Why are you using spiked Baco weapons? Good God. That's like he amateur. He stole now. them from my friends. He's yeah, what? So now he's dead. He stole those weapons from my friends. Well, now, now he's you... dead. You're welcome. Alrighty. Let's see. This looks like the perfect place to go and start bombing stuff. Oh, actually, you know what I can put on? Don't mind me, I am just a friend. See, he doesn't even actually care. He's not raising the alarm. Because I'm wearing the Majora's Mask. It's a creepy looking thing, though. Anyway. Once I actually do start firing on them, though, I think that that does undo any goodwill that I had. So, let's see, I think about there? No, that fell a little short. Like this. There we go. Okay. You all can't swim, so 
What you gonna do? No, seriously, what you gonna do? Fly? They can't do? fly. What you gonna do? But I, I can bomb. I don't think that actually accomplished anything, but. Let me actually aim for the ones down here. And I'm missing horribly. Alright, I take it back. It's not like I can do much either from this range. Pick out the other scout. How is it not shooting arrows at you? Is it because of the mask? Possibly. I remember, I remember these being assholes and shooting like terrible arrows at me. They shot Most which arrows at you? Terrible ones. I don't remember which exactly, but they were not. They did not make me happy. Well, that one is going to die now because it can't swim. Good. I need to teach my goblin friends to swim soon. He broke the tower. That's hilarious. Okay. Aim a little higher. How's that one still alive? That's it's a good quite... question. He's the only goblin in the entire universe who knows how to swim. Apparently. I'm a goblin and, and I know how to swim. We have no proof of that. Go jump in a river. <laughs> I... I don't really <laughs> feel like going that far, even though it's probably not terribly far. Right. I guess the water is just not that deep. I think at this point, I should be able to get up... Yeah, I should be able to get up over here. I've got a much better vantage point from here. I think. If I can actually get on top of this. Link, are you not climbing properly? I don't think you can climb at that angle. Really? So I can't even get up here? No, I don't think so. No, hold on. I can do this. Oh, wait, well, or... can you go through the hole in the middle? No, I tried. A lot of oh. arrows over here, though. I'll pick these up. Oop, and die. Because I think I... Well, not die. I think I just lose a heart. Bloop. Nice mask. Thank you, Caps. Catch the fish. Catch the fish. No, no, there's no fish. I think that's the mighty Porgy. Oh, really? I think so. That, in fact, is a mighty Porgy. Well, I don't want to drown there's... again, so let me start heading back to shore. Okay, if you don't sprint dash or whatever, you can not use up so much stamina. Why do I have this mask? I have this mask because I have this mask. I thought that and would be pretty you... obvious. And how did you get this mask? I got this mask because I found it in some weird treasure chest. Huh. Yeah. I don't know why, but it was there. Is it a DLC thing? It sounds like something that would be a DLC thing. It nah, it's not. I feel like I, There's no I such like thing was, as DLC. I feel like I was looking at the list of gear earlier, and it was 
No, that was. Weird. I know that was on the list. It sounded like something that would be on the DLC list because a lot of the DLC stuff was stuff that referenced previous games. Hmm. I wouldn't know about that. There's a previous game called Majora's Mask. Really? That I did not know. Anyway, it seems like this isn't a good vantage point to take these things out either. So I came all this way for nothing. Let's swim back to shore then. There was no boy sleeping nearby it, no. It was just in the middle of some ruins. Okay, let's see. See, that's a very good vantage point over there for me to take them out, but I can't. Like, I can't get there. There may be no choice but to storm the tower now. There's only, like, three of them, maybe. Well, one of them at the top looks pretty tough. See, there's actually items on top of that thing, so there should be a way for me to get there, but... I can't get there. Um, uh, try blowing it up, and then grabbing them from the water. Try blowing that up. You, you know, blew up the other tower. So why not this one? I blew up a tower. Let me actually get out of the water first. It's dangerous for me in here. Oh! some reason, there was a mighty porgy in that rock. It's just like Scarlet and Violet with the Pokemon hiding in the walls. It might be. All right, float closer to the... I might have killed a fish. That's How right. horrible of you. I, in fact, to did kill a fish. To be fair, that might be a merciful fate compared to spending the rest of its life stuffed in your pants. It might be. Now he's just gonna stuff the corpse in his pants. Right, but it doesn't have to be alive for that. Yeah, it would probably don't... prefer to not be alive for that. How do you know they don't die when you stuff them in your pants? Uh, the fairies <laughs> don't. Oop. Anyway, this mask was just... it was weird. But I did find that it meant that monsters trust me a lot more, uh, a lot more easily. Hmm. <sighs> I need a better vantage point. Maybe these rocks over here. Oh, and then that one... Yeah, that one over there looks like it's a good vantage point to attack stuff from. Of course, I could also sort of make my own vantage point. There was something over here, but I think it ran away. Anyway, let's climb over here. Now that the rain has stopped. That thing just looks ugly. That's just a moblin. Oh-ho! Well, 
Well, it's dead now. There are an awful lot of these guys hanging around. You know, it would help if I didn't keep missing with my bombs. Let me try these guys instead. And then you can buy more. Yeah. And you forgot to go to the market. I did not forget! He can do it later. I can do it mm. later. Me. What? Me. What? Me. <laughs> There's no specific order that I have to do anything. He yes, Cass. Really I am the Lord of Bomb Arrows. Bomb Arrows are good. They are. Oh man, I should take all of these. Okay. And that one just. That one just committed suicide. Oh, I already did copy. Never mind. All right, aim even higher. And it's dead. Oh, it's not dead. But you I can lied? fix that. You lied about being dead? Well, all right, hang on. It's panicking. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's, like, the last one left. So... At this point, I'm just gonna swim right over. It probably won't even recognize me as a threat right away because... I've got the... Whatchamajigger. Hi, Caps. Alright, Caps, good night. Wait, why doesn't he just, just, just hang out and listen to us as well he plays? Plays wh wh what is he playing? Oh. Night That's a good question. A lot of random stuff hanging around over here. Spiked Bako Spear. It's almost as if there used to be a bunch of Bokoblins and things hanging around here. And now all of a sudden they're gone. I invited them to a party. Yeah, you invited them to their extinction. <laughs> Some friend you are. Why is this not letting me copy this question? Like, put it in Discord. What, what picture? Uh, cause you were asking about Hylian gear, so I took a picture of what I was wearing in game. Oh. And now it won't let me show you. That's weird. All right. Oh, cuz I'm... Let's get back on dry land, such as it is. Mm, let's see, what was You'd think that there were monsters here. I mean, this looks like one of their encampments. Here's the problem, though. Like, literally, I'm gonna deal with this, or I'm gonna having, uh, I'm gonna have dealt with this, and then the next time a Blood Moon shows up, they're gonna come here looking for fishing again, and the monsters are gonna be back, and, well, all the fishermen are gonna die. Fine. As long as you that get your poor reward. fishermen. Okay. That's a lot of hearts, Deanne. Uh, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm aiming too high. That that object in mirror is closer than it appeared. Look, I guardian hunt for fun, so I need the heart. Fair enough. And we'll just take that out with regular arrows at this point. Prepare to be shot in the ass. Hey, the King of Deadly Ass Shots title is mine. 
Not no more. Free. All right. I got that sucker. More guts and parts. See, I was considering what would happen if I was in the middle of taking these guys out and then literally the blood moon happened. Yep. I was gonna say, if you take too long, that might happen. But... It's 2.40 a.m., and if it hasn't happened yet, it's not going to happen today, so we're safe. Did your quest update? Did I what? Did your quest update? No. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Check it. I didn't see it update. Hang on. Uh, side quests, right? Mm-hmm. Uh... Take back the sea. I think. You were yes. on it. So I... Yeah, no, it's, it's literally right here. Maybe there's still one hanging around. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I wanted to make sure before you, like, teleported back and then have to... Oh, I wasn't going <laughs> to teleport back. I assume there's some decent treasure for me to snag from here, if I can ever oh. actually get back on that tower. Should have gone uh, from higher up. Or, you know, not dove into the sea. And just I wasn't! I literally just hit X! <laughs> meaning to, like, just standard jump and link on his own, hit the die. You know, hit, hit as if I was trying to dive. Link is stupid, I told you. I am a fish. No, your girlfriend was a fish. Link is neither a fish, nor is his girlfriend a fish. I said his girlfriend was a fish. She no longer exists. Oh. Must be dead. Yep, probably. That sounds unfortunate. Maybe she's one of the ones you stuffed in your pants. Maybe. <laughs> that would be a fate not terrible for her if she was, in fact, my girlfriend. Wait, is there one of the other tower? One of what? Uh, monsters. At the one remaining tower that you did explode. Yeah, there's one. That's the one that you missed. Where? Uh, oh, the, the scout tower. Oh, maybe there's two scout towers that you missed. Did I miss? No, I just missed one scout tower. Welp. This one I think I'm a burn. Fire in the hole. You may die any time now. How is that tower not being set on fire? Couldn't tell ya. But... That is mission complete. Yay. Until the next blood moon. Until the next blood moon. That's fine. Knight's Halibird. Are you kidding? I did all of that for a weapon that I tossed away like ages ago. Yeah, but the quest reward. That's <gasps> fair. Maybe it'll be bomb arrows. It probably won't be. But maybe it'll be money that you can use to get bomb arrows. Yes, money for bomb arrows. That is my life. I can actually just teleport right back to the shrine, can't I? Yep, you could. But you want to do unnecessarily hard work. Nope. 
We have already specified that I can be lazy. Anyway, I feel like taking that ridiculous mask off. And putting your hat back on. And by hat, I mean bandana, or whatever it's called. Yes. Blah. No, no, bandana was right. Better bandana than banana. No, you should wear a banana on your head. I do have an item called the Mighty Bananas. Can you wear it on your head? I don't think so. But that won't stop you from trying. Alright, was it you? There's nobody here. I feel deceived. I don't want to talk to you. It was somebody here who asked me to clean up some monsters, and I did. I should like a reward, thank you. Being an adventurer and a traveler isn't free. Bomb arrows oh, cost think... lots of money. I think he's on the beach. If it's daytime. Oh. Is it you? Yeah, I, think it's, I think it's that. Okay. Yes. A hundred. Well, that recoups some of my loss. Now then. This is an inn, right? Yen, were you blowing your yourself up? What? Against that guardian, were you blowing yourself up? <laughs> no, it shot me. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I'm missing context here. I the showed you the video of me killing the spider that I showed you. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I remember it that. It shot me with a laser, so I decided to remove oh, all of wow. its legs. There's a fallen fruit. You ran by it. A fallen fruit. Where? By the entrance. By the palm tree near the entrance. Near the entrance. Palm tree. Yes. Uh, the next one. Sorry. The next one going the way that you were going. I'm confused. Go back around the way you were going. It's the second palm tree. One. And then the next one. Oh my god. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you can go find it on your own. <laughs> I'm confused. Hi, See, by the time you say go back the way you were going, I've already okay. been. Okay, face the, face the inn. The entrance of the inn. Never mind, you found it. I did. <laughs> Believe it or not, I actually do occasionally find stuff. Only occasionally, though. Yeah, well. Finding stuff takes too much effort. And like that's finding why the damn you market. Found 40 pieces of shit. It was. I, I wasn't doing that on purpose. Like, I literally just happened to bump into the. Karak Ox. Oh. <laughs> Food. Yeah, I like fish. Goody. Roasted Porgy. Which is an absolute waste of Porgy, but... Oh, I probably should have taken a picture of that. Oh, well. Oh, he actually gives them to you? Man. What, what did you not think you could take them? I tried to take them, and they were like, Oh, these were harvested nearby. And I was like, that's very informative, thanks. Can I just have the fish? <laughs> See? People trust me more than they trust you. Well, I didn't talk to the guy. I just tried to take the fish. 
No, you always ask for permission first. Why? Have you don't assume. It's easier to ask forgiveness than permission. You don't assume that you'll have permission. Right, that's why you ask forgiveness instead. No. 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 <laughs> Alright. Where am I? This looks like a market. That is the market. That looks like a pretty Armored small porgy. Market. Mighty porgy. Crabs. Octorok guts. Once they say no, you steal. Yeah, no. Always ask for permission first, but... You know, if they say no, you can just steal it. I've only got 64 arrows. So I will buy all of those. See, well, you nice. didn't want to come doing that. I never said I didn't want to be here. It's just... Like, I didn't actually think that it would have shock arrows because I've got over 50. You're really bad at throwing things, by the way. <laughs> oh, yes. I know this. Into the drink. What is this? Oh, it's another snail shell. It looks delicious. Actually, what I can do is I can go back to the market and I can take pictures of the dead fish. Thud. There is. I could make myself a nice attack up meal. I think I know how to do that. Armored Porgy. And Mighty Porgy. Very mighty looking. Mighty delicious, that is. Anyway, I don't have a lot of rupee anymore. Ah, uh, so sell your gems. And your shirts. I uh, could. Oh, wait, you can. Never mind. It's the weapons you can't sell. Yes. Hey, a palm fruit. I'll palm that. Puppy. Pet the puppy. Did I figure out what was up here? Is there anything important that's... Oh, yeah, it's a lookout area. I don't need that. There's nothing to look out for. Hey, what's that plume of smoke in the distance? A plume of smoke? Yep. That's probably nothing worthwhile. But let me climb on up here and just take a look. You can see it. No idea. I can see it, but I can't see what's going on over there. I intend to spy from up here. There's a fire, and I thought I saw someone standing next to it, but... He disappeared into the ether. It was a ghost. It might have been. I don't think it's a good idea for me to go investigate that. Nope. Absolutely Do anyway. not. Hmm? Do it anyway. Do it anyway. But there might be ghosts! Oh, you stab zombies. I mean, that's fair, but... Ghosts Save are different. Before Save before you go fight them, and then everything will be fine. Not necessarily. Oh, hey, the artist is here. I know this okay. dork. Different places that you find him, he'll tell you about different pictures that you've got. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey. 
Yes, we meet again. And I'm still sopping wet from my trip in the drink. Oh god, it's Hyrule Castle. Oh, well, it's that one. That's the last one I have to get. In. I mean, I'm not gonna... I, I'm not gonna specifically go looking for these things. I did. And that's the last one I need, and I'm really cranky about it. Alright, So let's... go to the castle! Who's responsible for this fo- I will later. Hi! What are you doing all the way out here? Oh, it's one of your redheads. Yes! See, and you didn't want to talk to her. Uh-oh. So this lady came all the way here so she could go to Eventide Island. Mm. You need to grow wings to get there. Mm. So wait, if that island is the Naked and Afraid Island, does that mean that this redhead wants to go onto the island to be naked and afraid? Well, offer to take her with you. Uh, I'm not going, so... But she wants to go on a date with you. She never said she wanted to go on a date with me. She just said she wants to go to the island. But you can make it a date. <laughs> uh, no. And invite her along. Nope. That's just bananas. Like all of these bananas. You have bananas. I have plenty of bananas. Hey, look. Horses and an ox. But none of those are the horse that I want. Also, the heck is that thing? What thing? What is... Oh, oh that's, that's probably like an enemy camp. Yeah, there are lizards there. That sounds about right. I'm guessing this thing is a trap. Or at least one of them is. Ooh. Yep. Dead. It was a mimic. Yes, but I got some rupee out of it. And is the other one also a mimic? No. It's Up. Sorry. Sorry, I spilled my tea everywhere. Oh, it happens. No, but I have, like, three hard drives on my bed. Oh, no. Oh. Right Man, everyone is having disasters tonight. That's not good. Come back here, crab. Come back here, dinner. You can't get away that easily. Alright, I'm going into enemy territory again. I know exactly what this means. Hey, buddy, don't mind me. <laughs> nope, you actually recognize me as a threat. Well, well yeah, he, he can't see the mask hiding her, her face. Let's see, what have I got to eat? I think it's mostly stuff that's too good. Although I have a hasty elixir. Sure, let's make myself faster and cure some hearts while I'm at it. Well, my stats homework took the brunt of that. This is why I make doobie XP, so I don't have to worry about all my food being too good for uh, to waste on the fight I'm fighting. Eh, it's fine.
There's something suspicious about these rocks. Is the suspicious thing that they're not Bob? No. I thought they might be a Nega Bob, but I was wrong. There's a shrine over there, but I think I think that's the one in the middle of the ocean, so. Let's see. Lizalfos can swim. Potentially, yes. No, they can. Potentially, yes. I know they can. <laughs> Prove it. I know they can. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna switch over to my bomb arrows. <laughs> Killed it. All right, let's go for the soldier's bow. Hey, one of those guys actually has... Actually has what? A, a bow and arrow. Which is useful because I seem to be short on those lately. The bow is more than the arrows. Well, yeah, but... Dragonbone Baco Shield. Nice, but... Eh. Not my own. Dragonbone Baco Club. That's... You know what? This thing is breaking, so... Uh... Oh, I can't drop it because I'm in the middle of the water. Hang on. The solution is to uh, drown. That is never the solution. <laughs> Alright, Dragonbone Baco Club. I think that there's another Lizalfo hanging around here. I still haven't gotten all of them. But I think there's only one left. Right? Or maybe I did get them all. Okay, what do you got? Aw, oh, just a regular old Lizzle bow. I mean, it's better than nothing, but... No, there was no ma other mask in that chest. Well, that's more money. It's always helpful. Well, that was worth my time. That sounded sarcastic. It was. The barrel was empty. It was. All right, well, I'm just going to equip the regular Lizzle Bow and my regular old arrows. And I'm going to put that there. Bongo Boom. And Fruit. Apple. Well, I don't care about that apple. Because I feel, uh, I feel like I wouldn't be able to get in there properly if I... I didn't realize that I'd killed all of the Lizalfos, though. I thought there was still one hanging around here, but... Guess not. I think there were only two to begin with. I thought there were three, but... Evidently, I was wrong. There's a ladder in the middle. There's a ladder in the middle? Yeah, if you want Oh, the yeah, apple. so there is. I guess they didn't want you to get stuck here accidentally. 
Why on earth not? Because soft locking games is not fun for anybody. Anyway. Sure, but if you get stuck, you just drown and then respawn on land. Or I do still out. have one more shrine that I haven't gotten to yet today. Yay. Uh, but before I do that... Well, actually, let me travel here, yes. I did want to see Hetsu while I, or Hestu while I was hanging around during my stream today, but I'm guessing that's probably not going to happen. Yeah, I got I sidetracked. Even, hmm? I can't even tell you where he is because your map is like covers. I have like no landmarks to base anything off of. I mean, look, I'm getting to towers occasionally. Yeah, I think he's in the. The middle one of the top three that you're missing. So, like, this one. Uh, no. The one to the right of that. This one. <laughs> no, I mean the area. Yes, that. I think. I think he's in there. I think. I see. But I, it's hard to tell from this. Well, I'm going to put my bandana back on, and I'm going into another shrine. To see what kind of fate waits me down here. Death. The fate that awaits you down there is death. It's or possible. Death. Hey, this death count is still at 16. It's a puzzle! Yay! I love puzzles! Oh, this one. Is I, okay, maybe I don't remember it as much as I thought I did. Interesting, interesting. I am going to disappear momentarily. Don't do anything stupid before I get back. It proceeds to do everything stupid all at once. Hey, I mean, go blow up your shoes with you I, still wearing them. I should. <laughs> okay, so this... Probably hit that a few times with something like an iron sledgehammer after stasising. And get it to smash into that wall over there. Unless... I mean, I'm guessing that this isn't going to work, but... It's worth a shot. No, okay. Is the chain magnetic? That it is not. There's another one up there, though. Interesting. Oh, wait. Because my original thought was to stasis this, which I, I think that I can. Yeah, I think that's what I did. And then, like, sledgehammer it so that it hits that thing with decent force. And there's water, too, so... So, what? Oh, wait, I think I... Okay, so that's not what I did, but, like, you can, like, move the magnet one, and maybe it'll swing move the, the ball. Move the, the magnetic magnet? one? They're, they're... Yeah, the one that's upstairs. Or, sorry, above you. Not upstairs. Ah, above that you in is there. magnetic. Yeah, if you move that one back, it should swing. There we go, yes. Yeah, I just stasis it, but this is probably what you're supposed to do. Okay, that actually worked much better than I thought it would. And now you don't have to break your sledgehammer. Yes. Although I do also have to keep in mind that that thing is rolling around and can punch me. Well, I'll just wait for it to stop. Oh god. No, this part is easy. Just go one at a time. Wait for it to go by and by. Yeah. But like, get right up against it. 
I mean, you can stasis it. I would do that for the one that's like four in a row or whatever, but I really just ran for all of them because why not? I mean, you're m you might be fast enough to do that. I wouldn't be. Oh. I think they're also metal, maybe? They seem metal, yes. But, uh... Um, oh, hi! Oh. Take that! Oh, there's two of them. Oh, yeah, but they were no match that. for me. They didn't even get in any damage. Okay, so that's another set of closed doors. There's a chest over... Oh, their swords are same power as mine, so I'm keeping mine. Unless mine is badly damaged. No. It's more damage than the ones on the floor. Yeah, but the ones on the floor don't have a high crit chance. Oh, that's true. Another edge of duality. Okay. That's another 50 power sword. I haven't used my 50 power edge of duality yet, but yeah, you bet I'm getting rid of the knight's broadsword for that. Interesting. I think I know what I must do. Yes, yes. There we go. Whee. Very nice. That was easy. Was there anything under the leaves? I'm checking. I got my arrow back. <laughs> nah, it almost looks like you can get up to this ledge, but... You can't. There's another chest here, though. You're not going to give me another weapon, are you? No, that's ironic. Because I literally threw one of those away for the edge of duality that you just gave me. Oh, well. No, it's, it's worth keeping that here. Um, don't break those. I don't know if I, I think, can. I think you need them. Oh. I don't know why I would need them. I think you need one. Uh-huh. Oh, hello. up the guardian spear. Take this! Take this to the divine polka thing! Yes. Consider yourself polka. And I'm gonna drop that and I'm gonna go get one of those swords that was back there because mine broke. All right, let's see. What do we got? Guardian sword? Just a regular one, if I drop that. 
Does the other one have a modifier? Durability up? I'm going for the one that's got durability up. Always check. Of course, I could have gone for the knight's weapon that was in the other one, but eh. All right. So those things are dead. What's down here? Another barrel. Wah! Oh. Well, that was... That was an obvious trap. Oh. <laughs> if I use that to balance out the weight. Mm. No, you. Well, I'll let you. I'll let you figure it out. I mean, I don't know what else that I would be using those things for. Uh, I think you need them later. I'm not sure. There is no later. There's nowhere else I can go. Uh, cross the bridge? That Yeah, that, that bridge, you saw what happened when I tried to cross it. Yeah, but you have stasis. Oh, I do have stasis, don't I? <laughs> Look, it's been a long day. So I got one of these things across. Oh. That looks like something that requires motion controls. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, I actually didn't use it, I don't think. I'm not sure how you actually solve this one, but if you can't figure it out, I'll tell you what I did. All right, what do we got? Oh, I see. I'm controlling this thing. Okay. Uh. So I broke that one obstacle. Okay, I, I don't understand, like... Yeah, I didn't use that at all. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Because, like, it, it's literally not doing what I tell it to do. There we go. Like motion controls. There we go. Down the hole. And it opened the door. Yeah, I totally didn't use that at all. <laughs> nice. And there's another chest down here. What I did was I stasis the big ball and then magnetic. And then I used magnesis on the small ball to ram into the big ball repeatedly. Hey, another ancient core. Nice. No, I don't mind the motion control stuff. Also, I did not need those barrels. Yeah, it was a different shrine I was thinking of. My bad. What did I miss? Uh, uh I died. Puzzles. The death count disagrees. The death count disagrees. E well, the death count can disagree all at once. All, all at once. <laughs> Okay, what do we got? I'm sure go the footage will also disagree when I rewatch it later. I mean, I fell down a trap door. All right. <laughs> it doesn't count as dying because I, I I wasn't dead, but. Okay, what the hell does that do? Hmm. 
Let me know if you want a hint or the answer. I mean, I see a bunch of leaves. I'm guessing I need to shoot a fire arrow at that. This has three parts to it. Yes. But I'm, I'm guessing I need to get rid of the leaves. Right? That at least has that continuously going. Oh, huh. I thought there was only one. Nope. Good to know. Now. I'm guessing... What does this do? Yeah, okay. So that'll allow me to flick that up. And if I stasis that... Okay, I get it. I know exactly how to do this. Good. The question is going to be one of implementation, because I need to stasis that, and I need to get on that button fast enough. Because I need to hit that, like, right when it's... Right when it's, like, right at the edge, and I need to have that... So, I, I again, I know what I need to do. It's just a matter of doing it. Right, because it's not just a matter of having that up. It's a matter of, like, literally flicking that up. Although the, the timing never works perfectly. Like, I don't know when I'm supposed to... I, I can't get both... See, like that. But I need to have that stasis when I do it. I, I see, timing. Well, I see what I have to do. But you're it's bad just, at timing. Well, I, I literally can't have both of these things on my screen at the same time. Ho oh, ho! Are you Santa Claus now? Yes, I am Jewish Santa Claus now. <laughs> well done, you. All right. Door is open. Yeah. One more to go. And now you just have to solve this next puzzle, which... I don't uh, understand this puzzle. somehow. Look. There's a thing. Yep. Oh, okay, so that opened up the gate here. And that's where I beat those second set of guardians. Now I stasis that and beat the crap out of it with my sledgehammer. Yeah, but there's like a explodable wall. An explode. So you. that wall is ex. Oh yeah. There is. Let's see what death is hiding behind here. A fourth chest. Behind. That's not death. That's a hundred rupees. I'll take it. You're welcome. Thank you, DN. <laughs> I was not expecting another chest in this in, in this place. I don't think freezing it in ice will have quite the uh, same effect as stasis. Kaboom. I probably didn't need to hit it quite as much as I did, but I did it anyway. It's on, it's on rails. You oh, it can only go so far. It's another puzzle? Man, oh man, this is a long one. And another chest. I saw that. <laughs> this is a very long shrine. But don't complain about the multiple chests. I'm not complaining. 
Look, even though I said I was a booty guy in a previous episode, it's not to say that I dislike chests. To be fair, chest booty is just another name for a, a treasure chest if you're a pirate. That's was my pun in the first place, yes. They both technically mean the same thing. You did a thing. I'm not sure what that accomplished. I think I know exactly what that accomplished. Although to be fair, I don't know Oh, probably not by exploding it, because that's just a terrible idea. But if I instead hit that with an arrow. It or gets you could me just smack here. it. Okay, but the chest. Yes. Which is here, and I don't know how to get that. Oh, probably like this. Dot. Whoa, Nelly. That was exceedingly cop complicated, wasn't it? Uh, yes, well... Hey, your first diamond. Second. Oh. Hey, you got your arrow back. I did, but I'm not gonna get back- get it back the second time. That's fine. Oops. You could just smack it and not lose the arrow. I did. All right. Well, this shrine Please. has been most generous. Yes. Now leave the alien your calling card. Yep. Can't quite get behind, so I'll just leave it there. And this shrine has been conquered. Woohoo. That was a fun one. And hey, I figured out most of it by myself. It was a good job. Dang, he actually listened when I told him not to do anything stupid while I was gone. Yes. Well, he did fall into a hole. I did. To be fair, anyone would have fallen for that trap. Probably. I don't think I fell into the hole. Alright, that's seven. Uh, if only I knew where another shrine was, I could get eight. But, oh well. Um... This was a fun one. This was this was a fun one. Do you want me to check if there are any near you? I don't even remember where I am. Uh, I think you're Oh right. I know where I am. You know what's close to here? Ah. Uh, eh? In a manner hey, of speaking. There are those two minor strength trials that I told you about. There are, yes. You could try those. They're too far away. They're not. Yes, they are. That guardian looks like he once poked with a poke -up club. No. But DN, I will show you that there is a Karak, uh, a Karak seed up here that I okay. found. Cool, because I didn't get that one yet. Yes. I was busy murdering robots. You were. Yes. But yeah, no, I did in fact get this tower off stream, and it was it was quite a doozy. <laughs> yeah, there's this little... When, when you climb up here, right, there's this little shrine here. You put an apple in there, and this dude appears. Cool. And will give you some okay. shit. I'll grab that in a minute. Yep. Thanks for the tip. No problem. You've helped me out off uh, enough, and it's nice that I can repay the favor. Now, getting to that tower there was an adventure and a half, because... Uh, let's see. They should still be alive. Because there was a blood moon since then. But there are a couple of decayed guardians posted, like, right around there. 
and right around there. And you may not be expecting them, especially with the actual real live one hanging out like right there. Yeah, I see you, but you don't see me. Take that. Spider. Punk. Spider. No. Smash, smash the spider. No. Smash it. Unless I can bomb it from up here, but I really you don't cannot. think that I have that kind of range. You do not. It's can like staring right at... It almost knows that I'm here, because it's not even moving. It's like, what is that in the distance? It's squinting at you. It's like, I don't know what that is. But it, for some reason, it looks like those decayed guardians didn't respawn. Oh, no, wait, never mind. There's one. Right, and there's another one. Somewhere on the other... So, when you're trying to get to this tower, right, you've got the decayed guardian over here. You've got another decayed guardian somewhere back here. And you've got the live guardian over there. It's kind of tricky. So and the way I did it was I paraglided from here. And I'm not going to show this on camera because it is specifically a matter of timing and I'm not going to be able to duplicate it because, you know, when I'm watching the stream or when I'm streaming, um, you know, I'm watching on like a second or so of delay. But I paraglided in. And yes, that did mean that this guy here did try to target me while I was flying towards the tower. But, because I was constantly moving, it couldn't hit me. Hmm. So I made it to... here. Right? This little platform down here. And from that platform, I was able to take pot shots at this guardian until it was gone. Now, technically, from there, all you got to do is just climb up this side, and you're not going to have any problems from the Decayed Guardian that's on the other side. But, I continued climbing up, and I stopped at this one, and then from this platform over here was where I was able to take pot shots at the other Decayed Guardian until it was dead. Now, from this platform here, I don't think this thing could hit me. And it could have just been the weird angle that I was at, so don't take my word for it and duck if you see it firing a laser at you. But I'm pretty sure that from here, the Decayed Guardian can still hit you. Or you can just stab it in the face like I do. Well, yeah, or you could actually just have guts and walk up to it and poke at it. <laughs> but I do not have those kinds of guts. Oh, are you not going to go for the minor trials? I don't know where those minor... Like, I don't have those... Like, I, 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 I... You told me where they are, but because my map isn't as filled in, I don't... Like, I can't tell you where, they, where exactly they are. Anyway, there's the other one. DN can play a navigator. DN could play navigator, but yeah. So there's one of them down there. And those things, DN was kind enough to tell me, will shoot you if you try to fly. So there's there's the one that's by the mountain, right? And then the other one is over here. So this, this is, in fact, a very tricky tower to get to. And I don't think from up here I can shoot these things safely, but let's take a look-see. No, yeah, don't have the range. Last, this was the last tower I grabbed. All right, but yeah, no, between those two, they, they actually have a very, very significant range. Anyway, Deanne, where are those um, trials? Give me one second. Okay, so if you look at your map... Yes. Um, zoom in on the castle. Oh, God. You're not going to the actual castle. I'm just saying zoom in. Okay, you see where it says quarry ruins? Okay, zoom yes. out once. Okay. There's that gap in the wall. 
here. Like right to the right of quarry ruins. There's like you see all those paths that are like on top of the castle grounds. I, I I'm I, I think that I've got my, my no, cursor right the over opposite, it. Opposite side. The right side. Oh. Here. Directly to the right of the word quarry ruins. Words specifically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that. Okay. Um, from there, if you go... Uh, hang on. Okay. Go southwest on your map. You'll see like a little plateau thing. It's like a dark outline. Very slightly southwest. Okay, so like here. Uh huh. Okay, mm -hmm. now a little bit more southwest from there is one of the. Like if you zoom in from there. Okay, hang on. Zoom in. Um, that structure just southwest of that, that looks kind of like an A without a crossbar. Or maybe like... Here? Um, a little bit northwest. A little bit. And a little bit north. Teeny tiny bit. That's where one of them is. And then the other one, which is probably going to be less guardian-y. Okay, good. Um, go back to your map. Yep. Um, go northwest where it says, uh, zoom in from, from where you were. Okay. From quarry ruins, if you go north, there's like... A river and then a bunch of trees. Yes. Um you see on the on the southwest corner of that island there's like a rock with like a tree on it. Dissin. Yes. So just south of that tree is another shrine. I see. Both of those seem like they would be very guardian-y to me. Um, the north one is not. But there's, like, macabre ones. If you, like, go around the castle, like, to the west, and then approach So basically the go north, through Giant's Forest and Mount Gustav. Uh... Yes. It's so actually called Mount Gustav. It's actually what? Was, it's actually called Mount Gustav. I was not expecting that. Yes, well. Yes, yeah, so if you go like that and then approach the northern shrine from the north, you should be fine. Okay. So this the guy over one. here is probably going to shoot me. You Let can, me actually uh, then go from here. Teleport to the shrine you were just at. Yes. And then go from there. This is going to uh, be quite a trek. Yeah. But, like, the other one is has two sky guardians, like, circling around it. Oh, lovely. Where the hell are you sending me, and why are you sending me there? No, I'm sending you to the northern one, not the southern one. I'm just telling you where they are. Like, I got to both of them without aggroing any guardians the first time that I went there, but the northern one is gonna be less. There's not, unless you like get really unlucky, there's not gonna be any guardians in your way. Uh, you do know that I'm very much due for a bout of bad luck, right? And I'm here to suck up all the good luck. <laughs> so. 
Hey, look, there's Insanity Bird in the distance. What? What? Insanity, insanity Bird. See? Insanity Bird in the sky. In the Are distance. you talking about the dragon? Oh, yeah. No, I'm talking about the Divine Beast. No, I oh. saw it. See? It looks like a dragon from a distance, but yeah, I see it now that he's all zoomed in. It's a bird. But dragons I think are I cooler. Know. Yes, they are, but I think I know what dragons look like. Dragons <laughs> can look a lot of ways. Okay. I am an expert. Did I get pictures of these guys yet? I did not. Goody. Gentlemen, don't mind me. I love this mask. It won't work on Guardians, in case you're wondering. Oh yeah, because... It, and it, it doesn't work on Keys either, so... Keys aren't smart enough, and Goblin... And not goblins. Guardians don't have enough discretion. Whoa! -oh. It's also about to be a blood moon. Well, that's a good thing you didn't kill. Except for those keys. Ooh. Do, they, do they care about you at all? They do. Oh. Well, maybe it's because you attack. No. It's got nothing to do with that. They're zombies, you so... You should, you should heal. And then, like, flee, because they're about to respawn. I know. Plus for inventory. Hmm? Plus for inventory. This, I hate that this cinematic plays every single... Yeah, it gets very annoying. And you can't skip it. Why can I not skip it? I don't care about the blood moon. Nothing happens to me in a blood moon. I Tell mean... You're not sitting in a monster camp. Yes, well, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Alright, let me get would. the hell out of here. I think I'm going the correct way. Yeah, the ancient tree stump is somewhere around here. Which means that I should be... Am I far enough west? I should be far enough west. Yeah. Like, you don't need to go into the next map or anything. Okay. Did get a picture of the stall moblins though, which I did not have yet. So that's convenient. Like it's really funny because south of the castle is like Guardian Hell, but when you get to the north side of the castle, it's like a field of flowers and a fox, and nothing bothers you. Fun. They, I think they don't actually care about you until you attack. They might not. Oh, but the keys can tell, so I do need they to keep running. They can't tell. They're just too dumb. They're just too dumb to give a damn what um, who they're attacking. I don't know Maybe that there's so. enough room in. I don't know that there's enough room in there for very much brain. Maybe I mean, so. Where's zombie. this ancient tree stump? Uh, I think you're heading. You could just check him out. I'm looking. It's this way, sort of, maybe. Oh. I actually haven't gone in there at all. I actually went around the east side to get to the north side. Okay, it's an ancient tree stump. Oh, Seems to be Lizal surrounded by Lazalfos. Mm. 
And it seems like there's a Karak something or another up there. Hmm. Which really shouldn't surprise anybody. Uh, well, they are leaves. Where else would they hang out? Hello, bud. Don't mind me. I mean you no harm. Seeing you paraglide aiding gave you away, apparently. No, it didn't. Well, yes, but they didn't actually think that I was an enemy. <laughs> they they like, just want to talk to you. They just wanted to say hi. It certainly got their attention, at least. Oh, there's actually enemies up here. Oh. Not that I care. Well, they they well, seem to be mobs. Maybe they'll just say hi. Hi. Oh, I've actually been here before. Oh really? Yeah. I got say a great flame blade them. from here. Oh, of course, nice. that was before a uh, a blood moon, but. See, goblins are friendly. What have I been telling you this whole game? Yet no. <laughs> the only reason they're friendly is that they don't know who I am. <laughs> this one's following you. He's like, they did gonna... look. It's it's very funny. <laughs> it's it's incredibly funny. They're like, can we fly too? And then they bum it off. I mean, look. Hey, a fox! Are now, I wonder if fox? this thing will attack me. Yes. No, they don't. They don't attack. Foxes oh, attack? The choo-choo? It doesn't look like it has any brain either, so I think no. it's a similar case to the keys where it's too dumb to give a crap. Alright. I don't like that I don't know where I'm going. You have pins on your map. There's a pig over here. Oh. There's a Hinox over there. Huh. Well, if you... Oh. I don't know. What? I don't know if the mask, I don't know if the mask works on them. I don't know either. I'm also tempted... Can... Hmm? You can literally, like, sneak up to, like, right next to them, and they won't even notice you. I mean, I'm also just tempted to fight it. Oh, you can do that, too. Let's see, is that a... Oh, that's a black Hinox. That's got a lot of HP. Well, I'm fun fighting it. Nope. What I will do instead, though... Is, is run for your life. Put a little skull on my map right here. That said, the Black Hinox do tend to have better drops than, like, anything else. I guess we found the giants from the giant forest. Yes. Is that a horse? It might be. Oh, there's several horses. I'm tempted. This is a horrible, horrible, horrible idea. Break its kneecaps. Like in that one video I showed you. Yeah, you can do that. I'm not that good. <laughs> it's okay. Worst case scenario, there's another art of you poking something with a stick. Well, he's poking it with a bomb arrow. Do you want to keep your mask on, or do you want to put your bed in? I think he's confused. <laughs> he's like, I don't know what is happening. I'm just gonna stand here and be confused. Basically, Honestly, this fight is off to a surprisingly good start. 
He's half dead already. Uh, he hasn't done anything. Except blink. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that is the power of bomb arrows. I think it's and just you the mask scared. you're wearing. <laughs> it also could be that. He was like, I don't know what's attacking me. <laughs> he might have been. <laughs> Uh, he might have been. He I don't even been. think he saw you during that whole time. He couldn't. He was like, everything is pain, but I don't know why. <laughs> Poor goblin. Or are hi nice hi halberd. Hi are birds. Though. What? He dropped bird drumstick. That implies he's a bird. No, oh, that's know. meat. Like, the Hinoxes will drop meat. Right, but it said bird drumstick, didn't it? Like no, no, like eating. like cooked meat, as in their meals. Oh. I think so do you funnier. remember? Do you remember a couple of episodes ago when I was wondering where the hell I got like the the seared steak and the fish from? It was from that blue Hinox. Ah. How many bomb arrows? I still got him sixty nine bomb arrows. Man, oh, and that's got enhanced durability. No, let me switch to that then, but I'm switching back to my regular arrows. And this apple tree needs bombing. These kids haven't emailed me yet. Who hasn't emailed you yet? One of the PIs wanted me to train his students on how to remove brains. I see. <laughs> And I've been trying to get them to come to the training since Friday. We were mm -hmm. supposed to go on Friday. I found one of them. He didn't know where the other one was. And I didn't feel like waiting around. And I said, coordinate with her and then email me for a time on Monday afternoon. They never emailed me. I found them today raiding my lab <laughs> with Lovely. their PI. And I was like... You guys never emailed me. And they were like, oh, what are you? And I'm like, you're only saying that because he's here, as I like pointed to their PI. And they were like, no, we'll email you. Well, guess what? They, they never emailed. have still. Nope. Yep. Don't shoot the fox. Good news, I didn't. Not for like lack that. of wanting to, though. Is that a Korok puzzle? Where? On your left. Oh, on your left across the river. Oh, yes. Since I'm here, I might as well. I think I've got the some time. I'm probably going to be going late today, but what else is new? But yeah, since they haven't emailed me, I'm just going to stay up and then I'm going to sleep in. So. I'm not going to chase these kids around to train No, them. it's they... not your job. Yeah. Am I, I actually getting closer to this? I honestly can't tell. You are. Goody. Slowly. Slowly. So, yeah, I offered because, you know, I'm leaving and I yes. know how to... But it's not my lab. Their PI is not my PI. They are not my students, so... Yep. I'm not going to chase them around. Okay, so where's the actual... Aha! It'd be here. Uh, up you go. Up. And... This way. Right in there. Get up, give you a little push. Well, like, n nice job, Link. Now drop it. Now put put it in. <sighs> Nice job, Link. This is taking 
Just use the magnet. Why are you carrying it? Just use the magnet. The magnet has also failed. <laughs> this just... is just being generally unsuccessful. Engineer, build thyself. <laughs> and there we go. Okay, I actually had to use the motion controls. Is that I got... why it wasn't working? Yeah, no. I apparently do better with motion controls than without them. But now anyway. you have shit for your effort. I've got 40... So I really need to find Hestu. I could direct you if you... I figured out where it was. Well, maybe that's something we can think about for next time. Okay. But, um... Yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, what? you can use... You can use the northern shrine you're going to... To teleport back... If, to go to the forest if you're gonna do that. Like That's... if you're gonna wander around during your lunch breaks. Yeah. I mean, I will potentially try not to do quite as much as I've been doing during my lunch breaks because it is sort of inexcusable that I that I got a tower while nobody could see it, but I give myself a pass for that. I mean, it's your screen. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> I technically can, but... And it's on your channel, too. So. Yes. You could sing Duck, Duck, Duck if you wanted to. You want, you want me to do that, don't you? <laughs> hey, it's better than the things that Don Ingwins wants you to do. <laughs> That's not untrue. I don't even know that song. I don't think. If okay, I do, you're, it. You're gonna wanna, like, not cross the bridge. You're I wasn't planning on crossing the bridge. Yeah, I mean, the you bridge have to is... cross the river, just not using the bridge. Oh, so the bridge I have is to probably be. Probably dangerous. I think. Well, the bridge might be dangerous, but these guys aren't. So I do need to get on this side of the river. Or the other uh, side of the river. Actually, can I check your map real quick? Actually, yes. If I'm going to be coming at that from the north, I would have to. Uh, okay. Or you could just follow the river. Um, On this... Well, I mean... If you can. I don't think there's a good path to follow on this side of the river. All right, that's true. And it's not like these guys are going to mind me dropping in. Hmm. It's just a matter of whether or not I have the stamina to make it across the river. I mean, the river, I mean, the bridge probably doesn't have more than what you're looking at right now on it. Like, I think it's just some moblins. Oh, I thought there were guardians on the bridge. Uh, I don't... There might be one, like, right before you get to the bridge. Well, I'd rather not deal with those. <laughs> Greetings, friends. Mind if I take your steak? Goblins can get a little defensive over their meat. Ah, mind if I take your spiked moblin club? I seem to have a dragonbone baco club that's nearly broken. I'll leave you with that. I like that they're so willing to share. They are. They're and like while I'm playing. here, I can also take pictures of some other wonderful items. They're like, hello, new friend. Well, I got most of the sword. Hello there, my dear companion. I'm sure you're all wondering why I've gathered you all here today. Is it to give them up the bomb? No. I have no intention of, of aggroing them. 
But you could, like, leave a bomb there and then run the hell away and then detonate it. <laughs> I could. But that would be mean, and they're oh, being so okay. nice. Another Where did part. that flower go? Uh, I think it might be above you. Maybe. Hey, look, a bob. I, think... I see a bob. I see a couple of bobs. Hello, Bob. Bob, I see you have also made it to this camp. Is that a chest that's underwater? Yes, so that's probably magnetic. Allow me to snag that. Hey, friends, I got us a present. And by us, I mean o he means only himself. It's not like they'd know what to do with it anyway. Depends on what it is. I mean, they do have a chest in their camp. Nah, it's just money. Goblins wouldn't know what to do with money. Don't worry about that, friends. I'll deal with it. There's no need for you to stress out about it. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Bob and I are going to travel together for at least a little while. Of course. He has decided... Hey, look, or. Or? On your left. Oh, yeah. That's right. I was too busy paying attention to this. Uh, you can also. Oh, I found the flower. <laughs> well. But yeah, you... Lots of Korok. <laughs> yes. Gotta get a little bit higher up. Poor Maybe Bob. A... Bit better aim. He's Go! The, river. the goblins are like. Yeah, the, I don't know. Like, like I had. The, there was one of these elsewhere. Are you playing basketball with Bob as a ball? That's just mean. I know. He's sending Bob to his drowning death. As you both know, Bob the Boulder travels better when it's when through rivers. And dead? No. Actually, I don't think that's going to do what I want it to do. Uh, it... I don't know how you intend to get Bob up there. Although, I can use the power... No, I can use it while I'm... But I, I, I drop Bob, so... Uh, well, that was completely the wrong direction. Although, hold on. If I use that hey, here... I see all the Bobs. They're under the water. Yeah, I saw that. Just staring at you gentrally and being like, why? Uh, it's fine. Why have you betrayed us, though? I have not betrayed you, Bob. Are you sure? After all, we all know Bob is the hero of this story, and you're dressed like a monster. And you're throwing him in the river. Man, there are a lot of rocks here. They really don't assume you're going to be able to do that with ease. <laughs> Oh my god, it's hey. a Bob family convention. I did it. <laughs> I did it by slipping off the edge. Good job. All right. Now go get the flower. Which was where? Um, that stone pillar? Part of the bridge? There are a lot of those here. Part of the bridge, part of the bridge. Uh, somewhere around here. Um. Well, let me actually clobber this ore while I'm at it. Yeah, it's... Okay, do that. And then when you're facing where the ore was, go behind you. Okay, go behind me. 
So yeah, I actually was going part. the correct direction. See, it's up there. Oh, yeah. It's literally on the pill. No wonder I couldn't find it. I've never seen them do this before. It's going to take me up the frickin' bridge, isn't it? I don't know. I didn't get this one. I haven't been in this area. I've been... Like I said, I came up the east side, not the west side. You told me not to go on the bridge because there's a guardian. I think there is one, but you can just not... You can get this later. If it... I don't know if you have enough stamina to even get onto the bridge from here. Uh, probably not. So I'm gonna get that later. Where did, Let's... Where did it go? On, uh, I'd imagine literally on top of the bridge. It might be under the bridge. Let's well, let's can... check. But no, I'm, I'm guessing that it's just on the bridge now. Which means mm -hmm. that if I want it, I have to go fight some critters. No, it's right there. It's right where? On the side, on the side of the bridge. But I don't think you have enough stamina to reach it anyway. Oh, and there's another Korok. That balloon thing. Oh, yeah, there's a balloon over there. Yeah, that's one, but on the opposite side from that, on the side of the bridge, is the flower. Oh, I see it, yes, but I, you're, you're right, I probably don't have... Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stamp this with the little star. To indicate that there's a Karak seed that I haven't gotten here yet. Technically two. I don't like that castle looming in the distance. Well, don't go well where would you rather it be looming? Right next to you? I'd rather it not loom around me at all. <laughs> I'm afraid that's not an option. Oh, these place. things don't attack me either. Yep. I'm actually legitimately surprised. They just came out to say hi. That they must have. Well, I'm climbing up here. I don't know if that's a good idea or if that's a bad idea, but I don't really have a path to walk on down there. It should only be like... No, no, wait. We're not at the next side yet. I guess we're still east. I mean, what? It's actually kind of creepy seeing those things suddenly burst out of the ground, and then all of a sudden they're, like, looming over me and not... I mean, I'd rather them not attack than attack, but... They threw you a surprise party. Yeah, it was a surprise for everybody. They were surprised. They thought I was some weird Hylian, but instead I seemed to be a Majoras guy. Yeah, you can see another tower from here. Uh, yes. But I'm not going to be getting that tower. That's fine. Just follow the river on this side. Hey, a fox! What does the fox say? Shrine nearby. That's probably the one I was taking you to. I feel like it's a little further than that. Uh, I think you're not. Because that's still marked, like, all the way over there. Oh, uh, it's probably that one. Are you sure? Uh... Oh yeah, there's one on your left. If you go, if you follow this road, 
there's so there's also one like that. this way. Yeah. Into the skull territory with all my. No, the 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 thingy isn't even going off at this point. But it's it is that way. I just checked the map. Oh, it's probably like up on the cliffs or something. I am not even. Hello, friends. Don't mind me. I mean, it doesn't seem to be getting louder or beeping more the more I climb up. Yeah, but, I'm pretty sure it's the one that I told you to go to. Because that's closer to you than the other one. Okay. I mean, I'm just going to climb up here anyway, just for the hell of it at this point. That's fine. Uh, I still don't see... Oh, God. Oh, no. Take your own screening. <laughs> yeah, the other... See? I told you. That's where the other one is. There's, like, die guardians. Yeah, but it's... You know, again, there's the blue one. There's a guardian not terribly far from it. Well, oh, have fun with that. Um, like I said, approach from the north side. It's Which way is north? Like, look at this cliff that you were looking at. Like, look at the base of it. The one that you were just looking at. Through the Sheikah scope. Like, towards the blue pin. Right, look at yes. the base. Look at the base of it. No, where the blue pit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what about it? Um, go to the base of this cliff. Like, look at it through your Sheikah scope. Okay. Oh. Yes. Okay, there's only the grass in the way. I can't show you what I'm trying to show you. I'm pretty sure it's on this side. Either that or it's by the trees. But, um, so the shrine is actually inside that. Oh, it's inside the cliff. Yeah, so... There's... It's supposed to be somewhere where you can burn it. Like there's Why like. Why would you burn the shrine? Oh, the entrance. <laughs> there's a there's a like thorns or whatever. Remember that one uh, tower? One of those. Like I'm pretty sure it's on this side. So the opposite side from the guardian. I don't see what you're talking about. Um, so, like, see, there it is, I think. Isn't that... Maybe? Yeah, okay, there are thorns down there. Yeah, 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 that's what you want to burn. But there's a guardian right there! Where? There! He's over there. He's like, he has this flight path that has nothing to do with where you're going. All right. So you're telling me that I can paraglide from here to the other side with not without being spotted. Well, I think you'll have to swim, but yes, they don't deviate. Is that another Korok thing? Where? Behind you. Like, turn around and then look to your right. This thing. Yeah, is that... It probably is. No, not that. To, to well, that probably side. is, too. 
what, no, what I'm looking at probably is too. I think that's just angry Larry who wants to go on a trip for some reason. Oh God. Peace. They have one health. You can smack them with literally anything and they will die. What are you worried about? The fact that there are a ton of them. So smack them a lot. No. Waste of resources. Where the hell did they come from, anyway? They're not supposed to be out now. Guys. It's the middle of the day. It's 5.50 a.m. So you have 10 more minutes before they go away. That's a little arbitrary. A little. Okay, they should be gone now. Yeah, so stay on this side. And then burn all of this nonsense. Don't land in the nonsense, just burn it. Why wouldn't you land in the nonsense? <laughs> because the nonsense needs to be on fire. <laughs> and then you land in the nonsense? Sure, if you want to keep warm. Okay. Uh, all of the nonsense is gone. I don't see a cave entrance. Is it? Uh... I think I see it. Oh, I see something that's blastable with, uh... Yeah. That's not an... I, I was expecting an actual cave entrance, not to have to bomb something. But, oh, okay, I don't this... remember exactly... Because it's been a while. <laughs> I just remember having the burn stuff. Okay. Wood is helpful. See, you found the shrine. I did. And you doubted me. I never doubted you. I just you was should've... dubious. Of I, I, I never doubted you. I doubted me. I want that on the record. It, it's not you that I doubted. You said, where are you leading me? I mean, I, was, I wasn't sure where I was being led. Here. And it was concerning. <laughs> Considering how terrible I am at this game, I hope you don't blame me for assuming or for, for thinking that I couldn't navigate through all this area. Well. One green rupee. That's why I'm the navigator. Alright, I am going to switch. So this is a minor test of strength. Yeah. I'll use that. And we'll go with the shock arrows. And on the offhand chance that I need a weapon... Which I probably will. And the shield is fine. Watch this be a major test of strength. Well, unless I forgot how to read. Like, Entirely possible. I mean, Maybe. I mean, you might just be... I, I'm not <laughs> assuming that you would have done it on purpose. I'm just... It, it, you know, again, lots of shrines may be misremembering. Way my life has been right now maybe I did forget to read I don't know how to read I can't even talk anymore yay okay it is a minor test of strength oh good now go to the other one no 
Actually, yeah, no, the fire arrows will be fine. Assuming I can hit the... Well, no, I'm using the shock arrows. Assuming I can hit the broad side of a barn. Do you still want your mask, or do you want... Oh, that's a damn good point. Hold up. Time out. Flag on the play. What language are you speaking? I have no idea. We'll equip that, and we'll equip that, because it does give me one extra armor. You never know. That little guy is fast. I don't think they're normally that fast, are they? I don't think so. This one seems unusually fast. It could be that I've defeated enough of these that they consider me a threat now. I just stab them in the face, so I don't really pay attention. Like, they're usually dead by now, so... Usually dead by now. I'm <laughs> sorry I'm not quite as fast at exterminating these things as you are. your apples you need to sell them to that lady I've got 149 of them I feel like I'll be fine eat the crab nah the crab has better use than the apples oh I mean the cooked one yeah Okay, let him hit the... Yeah. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! I am! Now you're missing. <laughs> Ruin his day! I believe I did. Yay. And now you got a new axe. And a chest. Ancient Battle Axe. That is more powerful than my sword. And even with the increased durability... It took a beating there, so... I think I'll drop... Why don't you drop the fire? Hmm? Why don't you drop the fire rod? That's true. Why would I need the fire rod when I have much better stuff? Yeah, you have, like, the flame blade and the great flame blade. You don't need the fire rod for anything. Eh, that's, that's, that's fair. It's just like how I got rid of the torch for the fire rod. I can get rid of the fire rod because I have much better so uh, items for that. Now, what have we here? Knight's Shield. Fantastic. My inventory is full. But I think I got a Lionel Shield in there still, so I'm going to drop that and take that. All right, you. It's time for my calling card. Kaboom. See, it was worth coming out here. I mean, it worked, and it got me the eighth orb that I needed. And a new weapon. And a new weapon, and a new shield. Alright, I think I'm gonna go to bed. I have been doing the very odd thing of sleeping at night as of late. Really? And now I'm tired. Alright, well, I don't know if I'm going to go a ton longer. Because 
we're already at 11.45, and I, you know, again, I made no story progress this time, but I made it to quite a few shrines. Like, I think I did five shrines today. Yay. And battled a Black Hinox, although that was a very anticlimactic boss battle. I am going to be right back. Okay. Uh, anyway, night, you guys. Good night. Alright. Uh, so those things respawned. Oh. <sighs> But yeah, no. This this was much further north than I would than I would have previously been comfortable going, and certainly much, much, much closer to the castle than I ever would have been comfortable going. Do I have my pin back? Yeah, I have my pin back. Okay, good. I'll just mark this or change this to my generic shrine thing, and I'm not going to go there. I do not want to go there. That just seems like death. Uh, what to do now, though? I think I'm going to stop by the town of Redheads again, although I will need to change before I go back. So let me change my outfit. Uh, that's the wrong way for my inventory. And the pants. Excellent. Now I should be able to get in with no problem. And there is a goddess statue here, so I can pray and I can get myself some more. Honestly, I really do think that it's it's hearts that I need more than stamina at this point. So I'm just going to go find, and I, th I think I'll ask for two hearts. Which is a complete departure from my original I need lots of stamina approach. I see you're back in Curly Town. Well, yeah, because there's a statue here that I can pray to. Seemed appropriate. I'm thinking two heart containers. What do you think? Well, you do have that one Korok flower that you couldn't read. I got the one Korok flower that what? The one Karak flower that you couldn't reach on the bridge? Under That's the bridge. fair. But do I really need... Like, there, there are other ways for me to get to that bridge than, than that way. Yep, just reminding you. I mean, what do you, I, I've upgraded my stamina three times. I've upgraded my hearts twice. Yeah, I would say more hearts. So two more hearts or one heart and one stamina? Um, I would say more hearts. Like both hearts. That's probably for the better considering how often I get my butt kicked. Like you've seen how many hearts I have. Um, I've only upgraded my stamina two more times than you have. Fair enough. And you can get pretty much anywhere you want to go, right? Uh, yeah, I could do with, like, maybe one more stamina container thing, maybe, but 
You know, there's also like stamina food that you can make. Yes. Stamina elixirs. So I usually just carry those instead, and that pretty much solves all my stamina problems. Hmm. Oops. There's a chest over here that I think I noticed before and never actually bothered getting. What? Why would you, like, ignore A it golden like bow! Oh, those aren't actually particularly great. Oh, I mean, well, I saw that it's only, lovely. like, 14 as opposed to... Uh, you let's see. Not, you missed me going through a couple more shrines. I now have two more hearts because I got eight... Or I, I had eight spirit orbs. I'm back in my absolute favorite town. And I need to find ways to make more money because I need more bomb arrows. Though, to be fair, how many of them do I still have? I've still got... Okay, I'm not technically running short on any arrow, but still. And she's not going to sell you anymore right now. No, not at the moment. Um... Oh, you know what I want to try? What? Although I think it might be a bit of a waste if I'm at full health, but there's apparently some kind of spa treatment you can get from here. Oh. I'm curious. Should I be curious? Uh, I think it happens all off screen. Like, I think this is just the inn. I mean, it's an inn that, that has some kind of spa um, in it. Like, that they, they yeah. advertise it. I'll, I'll do that, I think, at the beginning of my next episode, when I can actually potentially benefit from any extra hearts that may provide. You know what you can do? What? Oh, hey, look, there's durian on sale. But, um, you can go give your wood to that dude. Oh, yeah, I can. I no, could I make a joke, either. but I'm not going to. Uh, although, actually, <laughs> one thing that I will do while I'm here is I was told to order, like, a noble something or another from the bar. Oh, I never did that. I couldn't find the bar. <laughs> um... But Emmy with bomb arrows is this is the solution to all my problems. Say that again. Um, Joe said that you with bomb arrows is like I just think they're neat. Yeah, they I'm are like, neat. No. <gasps> you with bomb arrows is this is the solution to all my problems. Mm. Yes, yeah, the noble no pursuit. That is what was recommended. Okay, fine. How about milk then? I want a drink. Why will you not give me a drink? I am over 100 years old. Oh, so coming here is pointless. That's great. Well... Okay. So technically it's not. Because right? you see these ladies here who are talking about a rumor, right? They're talking about a password for you know where, mm. but uh. <laughs> uh. Huh? they won't say anything if you're right here. So what you do, and hold on, actually, I do want to show this. I can actually climb up in here. This poor, poor Gerudo that's that's like passed out at the bar. Is all just like stupid men. <laughs> so if you go back here, right, there's this lady here who gives you some kind of side quest. But I haven't actually figured out anything like that. But th th there oh. is a side quest you can get there, but. If you actually come over here, and I haven't done this yet, but I, I, I noticed that you can do this. Mm. Oh. oh. 
So there's also, a password. It's GSC Diamond. So gold, silver, crystal, diamond. Mm -hmm. The Gerudo Secret Club. I suppose that makes sense. Mm. So now I know the password. Now I gotta remember where the hell the place is that asks for the password. I think it's in your quest list, although I don't have that quest. But I know Amazing. what she's talking about, the lady at the bookcase. What's she uh, talking about? Remember that screenshot I showed you of me paragliding towards Insanity Camel? Yes. At the bottom of it, there's like a whole bunch of statues. Right. That's what she's talking about. Yeah, no, I saw those. Also, it, it might be time for the cooking class. Let's go to the cooking class. Yeah, so if you go to where I was... where... I was paragliding from, if you return the... seven symbols to the correct statues, then... Uh, mm -hmm. you'll reveal a shrine. Oh, good. Okay. This class. Where's the cooking class? I don't know, but I'm amused. <laughs> that sometimes Vo may look suspicious, but are just being weary due to the sight of a daunting Gerudo. Some of us get intimidated by redheads, yes. A very optimistic what? approach, yes. I like the last one. Uh-oh. Strike a fierce blow when he least suspect- Oh, God. Uh... <laughs> that would be a crime, yes. <laughs> I'll keep observing. What else did you- what, what else have you taught them? Lift him over your shoulder, carry him with the nearest person who can treat him. Very nice. <laughs> and what do you do? Make medicine on the spot. Yes, okay. Ma. Yes, allergies. And you're going to punch him while he's down, right? He's Secretly bring it. him back to his home where he could help him graduate. Oh, you would break the law. That is also a crime. <laughs> but also basically kidnap- also illegal in this town. <laughs> this is hilarious. I did not I intend to, to, to see this, but... I pretend that I don't know how to speak his language. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> I didn't Is it know unrealistic? There was more to this. What, what, what? I didn't know there was more to this. I thought it was just the first one. Well, I'm curious enough to, to, to try learning. Based on the clothes he's wearing. Interesting. Mom. What if he's wearing an outfit that's, like, basically just like yours? And you're gonna punch him in the face again, right? Close. That's assault. <laughs> let's talk after class. Yes. <laughs> let's, let's see. Is there anything else? No, okay, I think it's just those. I mean, that's funny enough. <laughs> but okay, I, I, I like this. This is, this is good. <laughs> this is the best oh. class. <laughs> talking on Discord. That's assault, yes. You're just talking on Discord and then you hear me going, that's assault, yes. What if it's a pepper? It might be a pepper. I do have some spicy peppers. You should give it to the one in the back. 
Maybe. I see. And what do you say? I think you all say, I wasn't sleeping, I was just thinking. Don't scare me like that. He does have nice lips, too. A kind of refresher course, but you... So you're you're saying that you're only taking it as a refresher course. Night, Joe. Thank you for stopping by again. I do. You're, you're saying that you're taking it as a refresher course, except that you're, like, literally the worst at it. <laughs> but yeah, no, this, this class. They have a class on this. And yet they... Uh, I, I also dread to think about what these dummies are for in a class called Vo in You. I like, mean, I understand what they're for in the barracks outside. They're like practice dummies. But, um... I feel but, like Risa is just gonna smack them. Maybe? Or they're used for something else. Uh... But we don't talk about that. Anyway... If you hadn't been to the barracks before, you would find a lady here that tells you something about Muldogal, Muld, Muldugga guts or something that are used for medicinal purposes. Uh, that is a side quest that I have not done yet. Where I is you this? It. You thought I what? I thought you killed the Muldugga. No, I found one, but I have uh, not fought it yet. Where is what? I found one. No, but you said, where is, and then I interrupted you. Oh, where is the place that requires a password? Because now I'm curious. Maybe it says in your quest log. I don't think it would be in my quest log. Um, I saw a quest for it in your quest log. You did? Mm-hmm. Side quest, scroll up to the top. Oh yeah, the secret club secret. Yeah. I don't remember. Oh, seems Greta. once you get the wrong password, you won't be able to try again for the... Well, okay. Let me go back there and... Let me... This one. Okay, it won't let me actually select that. But it's the, the clothing store. It's... Right by the entrance. It's not the clothing store by the entrance. It says the clothes shop. It should be the one, that one on your left. Yeah, yeah, but this is not where you give the pass. I've seen it. It's like a secret door, but it's not here. Oh, wait, this is the arrow shop. Regardless, yeah. it's it's not, it's, it's not the clothing store itself. Yeah, but it Maybe be it's around like behind store. it. Yeah. Maybe. There's a brand new sledgehammer I can grab. Mine got beaten up pretty badly, so I'll take it. Uh. No, this is not it. Sorry, I was too busy researching the inhabitants of this city to actually keep track of where anything was. That's terrible research. Um, go to the clothing shop front and see what the sign says the name is. It's, it's a different clothing shop. Okay, I don't know what other clothing shop. The secret is. one. See, that's called fashion passion. What's back here, though? But that's what... This might be it. This is it. Oh. Password is G. Oh. S. Oh. C. Mm -hmm. Diamond. Oh. Alright, I can come in. 
Hello? This looks very suspicious. Also, there's nobody here, despite... Hey, oh. Uh-oh. Oh, you can't break the pot. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. So maybe don't ask too many questions, and I won't either. You're a member here now, so thanks for your patronage. So I guess this means I can come back whenever I want. Wow. What's in here? Where are all these clothes? Oh. Yes. Oh, this is the only shop in Gerudo Town where someone could buy clothes meant for a Vo to wear. Despite it being illegal to sell Vo clothing in this town, there is a high demand. Why? For their husbands. Oh. So she actually recognizes me as a Vo, too. So that's the second one who does. Huh. All right, so what's the clothing in the back? So this is apparently the Desert Vaux Trousers. That's 650. That's beyond what I have, and that's... Good lord. Yeah, but, yeah, but they're like your girly clothes with the heat resistance, but better armor and they can be upgraded. Oh. And I thought you could only buy them in Terrytown, but apparently not. What the hell? But what are they? These are Radiant outfits. But what do they do? I why don't they... know. So why are they ugly? Uh, they... They are not only ugly, they are clothing that I will avoid. Anyway, I feel like... If I wore these clothes in town, I'd be, uh... Kicked out on my butt. Yeah, but I meant for lake fighting, not for wandering around town. <laughs> on the other hand, I mean, again, she's saying that there's a high demand for the... And she mentioned specifically that she's never seen a Vo disguised as a Vi... Does that mean that the Vi disguise is... I'm so confused by this place's existence. I think she means, like, that the women come here to shop for the men, but you're, like, the first male customer she's had, and you're dressed as a chick. It could be. Anyway, if I check my map, right, this uh -huh. skull here is where I found a Moldolga creature. Uh-huh. But I'm not going to fight that today. I think that that's a bad, 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 bad idea. So I'm going to go back to Hatno Village really quickly. And I'm going to go give that guy some of the pile of wood that I managed to pick up while bombing trees everywhere. Oh, this disguises you against the zombies. What disguises me? Oh. The radiant set. The well, I've got here. something that does that have... perfectly fine. Yeah, so screw that. So I don't need... And it's a lot less creepy looking and doesn't set off my phobia, so... And a lot less expensive, too. Yes, well, it was free. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so screw that. Yes. Plus, you have to give them luminous stones for that, so... You're well, I don't selling. have luminous stones either. And you're better off selling the luminous stones. Oh, it's Bob, welcome to my new house. Also, they don't seem to be here anymore. Oh, because it's nighttime. They're sleeping. Oh. I don't know if you can wake them up. They're in the houses before the bridge. No, I'll just wait until morning. And if it's gonna if it's gonna rain soon, you can. Ah, where did you people come from? What people? <laughs> These guys. Okay, well, you skipped the rain. But I was going to say, that merchant that I told you about, who sells ancient cores, you can find him on the road to Fort Hattonau, remember? Okay. 
Um, but he only sells the cores when it's raining. All right. So this guy now needs the money, but I did give him the wood that he needed. Does he say anything about the Hudson guy? Uh. Or does Hudson talk to you about anything? Well, let me, uh. <laughs> now that's Carson. I know. Let me talk to Hudson. Ooh. No. <laughs> nope, he just says the exact same thing. So basically uh, I just need to gather money. What about... What was the other thing that you could ask him? Ask him? Yeah. It was nothing. Like, who are what? you, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, can you ask him that? No, because it... I mean, it literally just led to... So, you know, the, 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 there's nothing else that he says. So I think you actually do have to buy the house. Boo. Okay. Boo. But oh well. That's fine. It's all fine. It's all dandy. I'm going back to paradise. And that's where I'm going to leave you all off for this week. How much cash do you even have right now? Like, 710? Really but don't forget, I do have some jewels and stuff that I can sell. Yeah. Plus, there's been a blood moon, so I can go clobber Negabob. But I'd honestly rather save the money for when I'm going to need more bomb arrows. Because I think we can conclusively say after this episode, bomb arrows are the solution to literally all of my problems. I mean, it helped me with the Mulduga. I think you can use the stationary bombs or the, the, the rune bombs for that. I tried. He wouldn't eat them. Ah. Uh. Would I, I, I'll, here's what I'll tell you. I may try that battle off stream between episodes. This is. I might. You but ran we'll into see. that lady. What? You ran into that lady. No, I didn't. There's nobody Maybe. here. No, the one by the entrance. She was like, whoa. That's her fault. Rude. Yes, anyway. <sighs> yeah, I've seen the giant walking around. It, they said that it just appeared a few weeks ago. I'm confused about that. Yeah, same. Because like, apparently he's... Cal Calamity Ganon has had this thing for like... A hundred years. years, so why did it only suddenly just show up? Like, is it because you woke up? Maybe? I have no idea. I literally have no idea. I don't know either, and thinking about it is going to give me a headache, so... <laughs> and this chick tells you if you get too close, it's going to zap you, so... Yes. You, you forgot to yell at me, though, for telling you that she lied. <laughs> that is true, I did forget. To be fair, I'm more concerned about her birds than any, than anything right now. That's true. Because she has not come back since that happened. So, also, I'm not going to yell at her because she was just in a car accident, so... But yeah, I'm going to save things off here, and that's going to do it for me for today. Uh, I'll be back with this series 
twice next week, one on Monday and a bonus stream on Wednesday. That's because the following week, I will be streaming just about every single work night, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, on the Bulba Garden channel for the Catch a Million charity event. Uh, before that, though, you will be able to catch me on the Bulba Garden channel um, this upcoming Sunday for Resorting to Violet, which is my Terror Raid Battle and Shiny Hunting series. I do still need to figure out what the heck the issue is with my Switch and its internet, but that's not going to take too much time once I actually get down to it. But yeah, that's going to do it for me and streams this week. Uh, check out other content on the Bulb Garden channel, like TCG Tuesday tomorrow, and then Caps Fan's Nuzlocke of Pokemon Leaf Green on Thursday. And yeah, like I said, I'll see you back on this channel next week, twice, on Monday and Wednesday. Looking forward to it. But as always, I am Maniacal Engineer, and I'm never going to give you up, never going to let you down. Thank you all for watching. And God bless this mess. Say goodnight, Deanne. Goodnight, meow.